Hello. Hi. How's it going? Welcome in. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're all doing well. Hi Pan, thank you for being first. Hi RP, also thank you for being first. Hi Roy. Hi Box, how are we doing? What is happening? We are I'm very excited to, to be able to play episode uh Three of of uh, our incredible space pilots campaign. We are vibing, we are thriving, and we are. I'm about to hop into the VC, so we let we let these these guys annoy you as much as. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello. Like the, like in tales of it. Hello. Oh, oh hello. my God! Long time I haven't seen you at all. Holy shit! Years. You just joined. Last time we were here, uh, you all discovered quite a few things. One of them, the most important perhaps, being the two dead bodies in your airlock, at least one of them, seem to be alive. <coughs> you took them to the medical bay, uh, tried to treat them and do whatever you can to bring them back from wherever they have been. Uh, other things that you realized were there is an AI on board which is trained to fly this ship in whichever direction that you want it to and there are also some sort of hidden compartments in its own memory which contained images of yourself, some coordinates, some research documents on other people, a bunch of shit that you're still trying to piece together the meaning of. But being tired from all of this, you fell asleep while you watched the Mars rise up across the horizon towards you. You spent a nice of blissful sleep and you woke up pretty well rested to the sound of uh, a slight small low priority alarm uh, just pinging on the navigation screen uh, which was asking for your identification to enter the Martian airspace. What would you like to do? Okay. Don John has his military ID. Mm -hmm. I can uh, say. Uh, you, uh, is the so in terms of identification, is it just uh, pilot identification or is it also ship identification which they're asking for? It uh, they were asking for both. They're asking for all identifications in terms of like who is on board. Everything. No, uh, that's not going to be good. What's your purpose in entering into the Martian airspace? Where are you going, etc. Do we need to enter into the Martian airspace in order to use the gravity, you know, like slingshot? Yes. Yes, but also you're already in, so it's it's a bit too late uh, to have that conversation. No... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh... Wait, Eva already sent the information across, right? So just use that information no, now no, because that is to Eva. No, that is to Eva Networks, and you already cancelled that appointment. <clears throat> that was on Eros Station, not Mars. Mm. Uh, Dave, can we can we call? Uh, okay, so I'm I'm assuming I'll just go to the pilots, uh, the flight tech, because uh, that's where. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. Is that where the so comms you, you is? You all hear the. Uh, the low uh, low priority alarm ringing across, you recuperate, you all talk amongst yourself, at least a couple of you go towards the fi uh, flight deck, uh, a couple of you are in operations, you have about 10 minutes before something serious needs to happen uh, while you're, you know, like sending across information. Okay. Uh, I, um, I relate to... Would be... Go ahead. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, I relay to Fal saying, uh, dude, there's a alarm that asking for ID. I have ID, uh, but what do we do? The ship uh, is compromised. Yeah, do you think, do you think it would be better to get Dave in and have him, like, you know, show his ID? Uh, so like, Who's Dave? maybe there's a chance they'd, that is, go. No? Who's Dave? The dip, the diplomat, the guy who was just uh, yeah, on yeah. yeah, yeah, get the suit guy, get the suit guy. Yeah, yes, the suit guy. Uh, yeah, I, I just uh, say that on the PA system. Uh, Dave, suit guy, can you just come <laughs> to the flight deck <laughs> ASAP? 
and uh, give okay. your ID to the Martian officers uh, and tell them you are on a diplomatic mission or something like that. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to wake up slowly. I'm going to look at the uh, wherever the announcement is coming from. I'm going to groan. I step out of the bed and I'm going to make my way to the uh, flight deck. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, is there music playing somewhere? Because I swear I can hear some music. Yes, from foundry, yes. foundry. It's in foundry. Would you like me to... Pause Background music. Uh, no, I'll just load it down for like the volume or if I can. I I stopped oh, it. I, don't know. I thought. Okay. I thought you. I thought you meant is there music playing on the ship because. Ah. Uh, yeah. session, I, I hope so. Yeah. I did have I the so. PA system and uh, connected mm-hmm. to Spotify. So. Hey, oh, no, nice. what? <laughs> I thought I was uh, doing the guitar thing. Wait. Uh, yeah, RP is playing guitar. Are you actually in character linking it to Spotify? I mean, not Spotify. I'm not going to, you no, know, but like say... some sort of online service. I I did say that I used the crack version of it. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, there's some sort of like connection of to the outside WC. world. Is that what I'm asking? Uh, you know what? No. <laughs> <laughs> The DM is just like choose your next words carefully. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just confirming so I can, you know, like have some sort of consequences. Yeah, based no, on that. I mean, like yeah, it's just a fucking Spotify of, ads playing. Yeah, in, <laughs> in character, obviously, this like very underground hacker wouldn't use anything mm-hmm. with a geolocator exactly. or. Exactly, but yeah, you so. are the hacker, so it's it's. Technically down to you, but yeah, I get. What this you is mean. not a. This is not a shame being unable to identify for. Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> fuck <laughs> you! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. They they've come oh, to the flight. They are not wrong, you know. <laughs> fuck you too. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. What are you guys doing? Uh, Dave. Dave, are you yeah, going I'm, to the I'm walking to the. Yeah, I'm uh, making my way to the. Uh, uh, w- way w- to what is it called? Making my way. Just flight deck. Making my way to the flight deck. Uh, to the flight deck, and I'm gonna <laughs> walk in. I'm gonna look at. Uh, I th- I think I recognize uh, his voice, right, Fals? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> walk in. I'm gonna look at Fal. Did you really have to wake me up this early? Like, how do you know if it's early or late? Like, I I carry I carry a watch. With, deal with this right now. We're being hailed by the Martian airspace. You can go back to bed after you've done the one thing, like you know, that you will be doing for the entirety of this mission. Uh huh. All right. I'm gonna walk over to wherever the uh, communication is. And mm-hmm. uh, what what did they say? Do I did I hear what they so said? So they're asking for no no. no. So there's just there's mostly like a the form message, of honestly. sorts for you to fill out. Mm-hmm. Uh, one contains identification of the ship. They already have mm-hmm. pre-filled your drive signature. Uh, they have already pre-filled flags. Uh, uh mm-hmm. one of them is regarding an EVA ship, and one of them is being, mm-hmm. uh, you know, like tagged by UN uh command. They don't usually care about it because it's Martian airspace. Uh, uh the the form also mm-hmm. contains uh fields for all the people who are on board, and also identification. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the purpose of your entering the space. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll fill out the form then. Um, with most of the details. Are you giving of identities the of all the people out, on the ship. No, not, no, no. not fill all. Fill out your people. name. Fill out yeah, your I'm name. Out, like, and with then my keep everything name else as classified. Yeah. Keep everything as ca- as well, classified and then show your ID for it. Uh, as the purpose for visit, I'll probably write. Uh... Uh, we need to Thanks. use the gravity, dude. We need to go no, to the you, next place. You just you. Is there an embassy for Earth uh, uh, on Mars? Is there a UN embassy on Mars? They are on uh, pretty much of like a war situation at this point. Yeah, I think oh, I think uh, DM did tell me okay. about that. Yes. <laughs> okay, wouldn't have called on Dave if I knew about this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's fine. Well, what's the what's that gonna be? It's just war, war now. Uh, it's fine, don't no worry about it. Space with a UN diplomat on board with most things classified during wartime. 
Uh, this is probably not I'll a smart go. idea. Yeah. I'll let you do it. Let's I'm roll. Like asking if that's what you want to do. <laughs> the fuck is he like bald? The question is. The question is. Obviously, if Paul doesn't know about this whole, like, doesn't know a lot of these uh, political kind of, you know, how do you behave in these situations? Literally, thing, every single person like, in the will. entire expanse system would know that Earth and Mars are not friendly at this point. But still, like, I wouldn't know if, like, hey, would a okay. diplomat still have some sway or not? Got you, got you. Okay, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that totally. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably okay. a while. Wait. Yeah, yeah, I would okay. know that. Yes. Hold on, hold on, one second. John John will speak now, and then you guys can take a call. Uh, dude, I was in the Martian Air Force. Maybe I have some pull, as they say. Should I try? Should I? Should oh, I yeah, use my that, ID? That works. That, that's sure. Better. That's actually better if you can do that. We can sure. use yours and Shane's. Is Shane still in that as well, or did he Shane's drop not out? Here. Like, not very... Shane's I not mean, here. Like, well, uh... Shane's not here. Was he in the Martian this thing as well, or did he leave midway and so he's not, you know, part of the force? I mean, I so never was you. was in the uh, Air Force, right? So, oh, okay, I was in the Air Force. I mean, the Navy. Oh, the Navy, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Why is it called the Navy? Keep forgetting. Yeah. It's it's that because there's ships. It's Navy. Space is but water there's, too. There's not Air exactly force. in water. Okay, Sassy. Air Force. What is the what is the main? Wouldn't it be Space Force Air then Force instead is. of Navy? Wouldn't Love it be it. Space Force? Space Force it's... is part of the Navy because why ships sail? I mean, ships you still say spaceship, right? You don't say space mm-hmm. plane. So you also say airship then? No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, there is something called an airship. There's air in that. Everything. There's just air in that. So then there's space in that. So why not Space Force? Come on. Hey, you no, should contact the writers no. for the expanse and ask them. It's a good idea. No, Write no. a letter. Ask because Space Force is a Netflix series. <laughs> good <laughs> Netflix Power series. Ranger series. You cannot have Space Force. It will definitely be under Navy on any sort of like command. Okay. Anyway, doesn't yeah, matter. Let's sense. move on. Yeah. Let's move on. <laughs> okay. Sassy, Sassy, um, tell me why, tell me why are uh, jet fighters which are on board uh, carrier play, uh, carrier ships still a part of the Navy and not Air Force? Because they were trained to be part of the Navy and they leave from the ships which are on, on, on so water. So why are they in air then? Because the, those are planes. This is not <laughs> as simple as it sounds. <laughs> Ship, fly, God. air. That's not how it works. <laughs> I feel like I'm in class and then the teacher is just picking on sassy. <laughs> yep, yeah. Okay, that, that's, I'm sorry. That's I'm, I'm, I'm sort of like sidelining now. Please get back on track. Let's talk. Okay, okay, okay. What are you telling me? Uh, so John, 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 John has already John asked. Understood. Okay, okay. Yeah, just give your okay. details. Okay. Uh, so DM, what, like, mm-hmm. my ID, right? Yeah, I ID, still have the military ID. Everyone who is on board. Okay. Uh, would I know anyone uh, at um, traffic control or space traffic control or control center? No. Possibly. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Let's see what happens. We'll see. Uh, this is John John speaking. I am captain of the ship. We are just requesting to use your airspace to cross over. We need the gravity field. I hope you understand. Good. Uh, they take some time to uh, process your request. Mm-hmm. They, after a while, uh, confirm uh, who are the other people on board. Ask to confirm. Uh, confirm who are the other people on board. Yeah. C- can they read our signatures? I mean, people's uh, signature. It would seem like there's it. no. Okay, it would seem like it, but there's no confirmation. Yeah, yeah, right? but there's no confirmation. It could just be that they're guessing there's other people on board, or they just like want to ask you if there are other people on board, but in an indirect way. Okay, uh, I, I speak to Fal and say, uh, Fal, uh, they're asking just, for other people. Just say cargo. I don't. Just yeah. I don't think just say cargo. Anything. Yeah, just say okay. you're taking okay. cargo to the belt. Yeah. 
it's an ice faller you're uh, giving cargo to the belt okay uh, command center this is john john speaking uh, i'm just taking cargo to the the what's the place again dm i forgot which planet are we going eros. to eros uh just taking cargo to eros we need to uh, pick up some ice we need to pick up supplies that's all please confirm okay they take a bit of time to respond to your request uh i need you to make a charisma <laughs> check for me let's go okay, okay shit i don't have my character sheet open i should probably wait I, i forgot to my character sheet hold on let me open it i need to know what it is <laughs> i hope it's good, good. i wasn't the only one I hope nice. to fuck my charisma is not that shit but I think it is if I'm not wrong we'll see we shall see DM what was oh, the no. character sheet's okay. name because I think uh, I misplaced it mm. <laughs> Thank okay. you the okay. all the best Dirvan okay I think I got my character sheet yeah Oh my charisma is like 43 No oh my god <laughs> Is yours very low? Mm-hmm. Mine is forty-five. Okay, charisma, oh. and I rolled a fifty. That's good. No, no that's not. not good. That's not good. That's not good. It's the opposite. Can I? Can I uh, could I try to like salvage the situation? Can I? Wait, wait. Let's see what happens. No, at least we'll we need okay, to see yeah, what yeah, happens sure, before sure. you salvage. We don't know what happened, right? They have been quiet okay. for like a couple of minutes now. shit uh john john oh, I, i i don't think it was a good idea for you to say that you're going to pick up ice uh, yeah that uh, seems to be what sort of like tick them off oh god no john i told you specifically uh, no, no, no. i said the cargo bit i swear i'm sorry <laughs> it happens sometimes oh god fuck oh let's Should I call see. them again No, uh, I think that'll make, it, I'll, I'll make it more suspicious. Let's let's. But that's just... not a good sign. If we just keep that, that's moving, not a good right? sign. We're still moving. We're, we're right? moving. Yeah, yeah. Towards the rare space, okay. though. Okay. You're picking up speed. Okay. Nice. Mm-hmm. Um. We. If I'll, we need to either slow down, or we need to start preparing. I don't this know. This is slowing down now. You're in the gravity well. Oh, we are already oh. in the well, love. No? Fuck. Mm-hmm. If you slow down now you'll crash into Mars. Okay, Fuck. never mind. Oh, that's great. Is there a an act of war? I assume. Okay, okay. Then I'm going to nice. contact I'll have to contact command again because they're not responded. We're still going into the airspace. Mm-hmm. This is not so, a good do idea. Do you think it would be a good idea? Would it would you think it would be a good idea for me to try hacking their system or would that make no. things worse? That might make things worse, dude. I don't even know what kind of oh. systems they have anymore. This is not a good idea. I'm gonna try and yeah. see if I can persuade yeah. them. John, just just tell them tell them you have a lot of ice on board and you're picking up more just on don't. heroes and and the ice will melt if they take too much time. Just just tell them you're you know, uh, just make them on. feel let, like you're let, a pathetic let, person. It won't be hard just, for you to do that. Oh yeah. fuck you! <laughs> let's just see what Man. happens. Uh, Before you command. pick up the mic and like you know oh. start speaking, uh, the response comes to you, which is, which just reads, um, "We can read other life forms on the, on board. Please identify." Ooh. Okay, is it a message or is it like can everyone hear it mm-hmm. in the text. flight deck? The text. Okay, uh, Afal. They say they can identify life forms. Now, oh, can you yeah. do something about it? Um yeah I can try to hack but I don't know if that will be a good idea. I think we should just ask others for their opinion before I do something rash, you know. Uh we don't have time. I don't think we have time to. It. We're already heading there. Oh, Damn, do we actually have oh, time God. or like from your part I... you can tell that there's perhaps not enough time to reach a conclusion. Got it. Mm. uh so so john john need to do, do you it think, now yeah do you think anybody here would be unwilling to give their id or it'll be an issue so i think like you know dave being a, a uh, diplomat I from the I, it, it 
slightly might be an issue maybe yeah, let's just can you uh, try hacking because it's going to be a problem okay. either ways let's just let's I'll, try I'll, and then I'll, i can I'll i can tell them it. they were mistaken oh god what are you scared. trying to do eva uh, hold me trying to hack it to make it seem like either the detection of other life forms is a glitch or if that's not possible to make it seem like we have uh, you know whatever certification needed for them to just let us pass through awesome. okay i think from what your past experience you can tell that perhaps the best op- option here would be uh, to forge some ids in the martian uh, right. general contractor uh, you know like uh, area yeah and just use them as people on board uh because yeah. hacking the systems to show that there's no life forms on board might just be a bit too suspicious yeah uh, suspicious. I'll, i'll go with that i'll go i'll go with that we'll 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 try to pretend we're contractors okay. come on uh, roll <laughs> okay this has to be less than a 25 if i'm not wrong right oh no yeah. We're all I, I, give I've me one more while you prepare for it. Eva, tell me everything's going to be okay. <laughs> But this is not the time for like a romance. Something is happening like like Christian dude. Don't be so dismissive. <laughs> My god. Just stuck to her. I'm just, you know, I'm scared. Okay. Okay. No, no, go back I'll to try hacking. John John, can you just keep quiet? I'm trying to hack this thing. Okay, please. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Somehow one of the people uh gifted subs on my stream while the charity mode is on. I have no idea. Wow. Congratulations. No, Pixie, I legitimately have no clue if it goes to charity or not. I genuinely have no clue. Uh-oh. <laughs> but it's okay the thought counts the thought counts don't worry i'll i'll do you know like i'll pass it on instead <laughs> yeah please go ahead guys what are you guys trying <laughs> uh, i try to hack i roll a 61 we don't ai 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 okay Are you doing it? I mean, like I rolled it, so I I would have done it and would have uh, done a oh, shit wait, job. Oh wait, I didn't right? ask for a roll. Oh, oh. you didn't? Oh, okay, cool. Oh, then, okay, then, okay, great. Then that roll doesn't <laughs> count. That roll doesn't <laughs> exist. Yeah, that roll doesn't count. And also, please never roll without me asking you to, because there's some actions oh, which God. just succeed automatically, and some actions oh. which uh, would have a different DC. uh then your general you know like a check so don't don't worry about the checks if there's a check needed i'll call for it oh okay cool cool now um, i can roll for yeah. the check <laughs> so what what am i looking oh what should it's it be on there would it still be a... yeah it, it's still another hack since it's just the same thing so it's still my god automatically notify. succeed even if you do and it's uh, your uh, second chance everything can happen Oh yes. wow. Well done. Who said that? <laughs> yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to be like George on. This is my second chance. Let go. No. That's I mean um, I mean wow. uh, this proves the odds. What are the odds? This proves yeah, there's, there's no second chances. This proves it. Okay. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be one in ten thousand. You trust the systems uh, for uh, different identities of contractors who would be associated with Mars. The companies which you know build on Mars, as you try and you find a couple of uh, different people, you associate them with the people on board, and then you send across the uh, the message. Unknown to you, one of them, the identity is that you stole from another person. is actually flagged under martian uh navy already and oh, as you send it you hear the alarms go off mild alert and the navy is asking you to keep coasting turn off your engines and uh, prepare to be boarded they'll probably see you on the other side as you slingshot 
because right now you're just too fast. You're coming in too fast to get boarded. So you have a couple of hours at least before they can actually board you. Uh, um, okay. We're gonna, we need to call Wait. the entire crew for a meeting. Wait, how does this come? Uh, is this come as a text? It's, a, as, it's, a, as, a, uh, it's as a text, yeah. Okay, I have to tell them that. So file will not know this, right? Yeah. Or can 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 they see it? Uh, they can see it on screens if they want to. Okay. Um. Uh, nice. Okay. Uh, I'm okay. just gonna say on the PA system. Hey, can everybody uh, come to the crew quarters? This is an emergency. Calling all people. Please come. Good. We're all doomed. Yep, I'll make my way to the my uh, fault. crew quarters. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> I Our definitely did not see that standing there and judging you. Yeah. Okay, you're in crew quarter. Uh, did you announce that the meeting is in crew quarters? Yeah. No, I thought we told you everyone to come. Oh, you said crew quarters. Okay. okay cool. I said cool, everybody cool, come cool. to crew quarters. It's an emergency. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, where is the gun? Oh, yeah, the gun is here. No, where's Dave? Dave is here, yeah. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm I blind. Someone is still sleeping Confusion. in there. Who's sleeping? Shane is sleeping. Hey, I'm I'm awake now. What do you mean I'm sleeping? Hey, you... huh? oh, Shane, Shane, dude. Shane. Shane. Ah, okay. Or Dave. Okay, I'll go wake up Shane. <laughs> uh, Slap him Shane. away. Dude. I shouldn't even be wake here, up, bro. What? Shouldn't I be in the medical bay? What? That's where I went to sleep. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he did. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I don't you, know why you're here. You wished I, I, I uh, just Malik missing good night, and then you went to sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I made my way out. It's fine. Okay. okay. Making my way. <gasps> Making my way down. Okay. Okay. Uh, Shane, as you're walking towards the stairs, sort of like drifting towards the uh, stairs, you sense activity behind you, and it seems like Malik Nasim just like has shifted in his bed. Okay, I'm gonna turn around. What the fuck? Oh shit. E Eva! Can you hear me? Like Eva? Dawn. Eva pops up in front of you. And Is he awake? announces pretty loudly. Shh, shh, uh, hey. I would like to announce. And just like cuts off as you say. Slowly, <laughs> quietly. A little bit quietly. Is he awake? An alarm if he wakes up. <clears throat> yes, if I was asleep, but I'm awake now. <laughs> Alarm only works if I mention that. Oh my god, Eva. Okay, okay. Yes, is he awake? His vitals seem to indicate that. Fuck. Oh fuck. Okay. I'm just gonna call up through the to the meeting. To the ladder. Okay. Hey guys, um Mr. Um Nassim's awake. So you guys wanna do this conversation down here? No 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 yeah. no. We need to have uh, a conversation first. Before we go talk uh, to yeah. the dead body, I mean the zombie. I mean uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy, oh. dead body. So okay, Eva. If he, if he gets out of bed, he's getting berated. If he gets out of bed, just let me know. That's that's oh, all I got. For me to let you know. Just pop up and just quietly whisper. That's it. Okay. Thank you. No, isn't it's he, be isn't he strapped in here? Isn't he strapped? Uh, he's strapped. Yeah, he's strapped. He's strapped. Yeah. So, like, Shane, I think we can just like, like, just come here for like five minutes, and then we can talk to him. Yeah. yeah. Alpana just asks, "What's going on? What's this in the same meeting about?" Uh, we're gonna be boarded by the Martian Navy. We're what did you do? Us. Yeah. What did you Fuck do? You. I've been, I, I've been trying to fly this plane. They asked me. I told them. Okay. It didn't work. This time, this time it's not John John's fault. So, like, they just asked us for ID. John John gave his. They still, you know, weren't convinced. They asked us for, like, everybody else's ID saying that there are life signs aboard. And I didn't want to, like, you know, raise any flags by, sh by giving actual names, especially Camilla, since you're ex Martian, and I don't know like what your position is with them. And uh, Dave is a UN, uh, you know, suit. So 
uh, didn't want that to start World War Seven. Is it now? Uh, yeah. Lol. Believe it or not, fourth. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so I just gave fake ID and uh, they saw through that as well. So, yeah, we're going to get boarded, but it's going to be a few hours so we can, you know, try to set up a game plan until then. Wait, so are you telling me you tried to hack Martian control? I didn't try to... I didn't try to hack them. I used forged IDs, uh, but I think you know either one or a few of those forged IDs may have been compromised. So, so you didn't think to check? So they think how can I check with the Martian database, like their criminal database? And and you called me incompetent in my very job. Hard. Hey, hack is wow. very hard, okay? I actually did pretty well so far. Like, you weren't even able to identify if somebody was living or not while you took Yeah, because their, he was like, dead. He was dead, okay? He was dead, dead. The only reason he's alive is because that implant saved his life. If he didn't have that implant, he would have been dead. So, so, so he was so dead. he was never dead. He was dead. So, no, you're saying his implant saved his life, so he was never dead. No, the implant brought him back from death. Chill, guys. Yeah, he's we need, alive we need now. To discuss about Mars. He's alive. We, yeah, yeah we, got, we got bigger problems. Let's yeah. let's worry about being bored. You guys can kiss and, and wake up. It's okay. And having dead bodies on our ship, right? Wait, what happened to the one dead body. bodies? By the way, didn't we throw them yeah. out? There was only one dead body. The other ones are alive. We, we didn't throw it out. out. We didn't throw it out. It's still there. Okay, uh -huh. It's still there. That's not on me. That's not on me. I was but just flying the plane. It's, it's the corpse of a UN officer, so... Oh! It's okay. still a dead bird. I have, I have a really wild... Yeah, uh, same. Idea. Wait, what? What is that? What is that noise? You look around and... Is that Eva? <laughs> trying to Eva. Get, get your attention for a while now. <laughs> Eva! <laughs> What's going on? He's a fake. Oh shit. And he's trying to get out of his restraints. Oh shit. All right. Okay. She told me to inform you. Yes. Thank you, Eva. I appreciate you. I did. Yes. I was, that was a little too quiet, but I appreciate you. All right. I'm, I'm going to listen. Listen. Let's listen. I've been doing that okay. up for yeah. a while. I heard it three times. Yeah. I, I, know, I thought. I heard. I was waiting. I was waiting for him to actually realize. I was like, like I heard uh, it. Uh, okay. I heard it, but I didn't register it. <laughs> nice. Okay. Are you going downstairs? Um, Alright, you guys okay. handle this shit. I uh, need to go deal with, with this dude. Yeah, yeah. But don't say anything to him. Like, uh, you know, just talk about his health. Just be a doctor to him. Uh, and like, you know, don't you talk can. about anything else. Alright, Paul. Yeah, as, as far as you can. Yeah, perfect. You I, can I tell him uh, I play the guitar. And how will that help in his medical diagnosis, John John? I can make him happy. He can listen to some real music for once. Valid. You know, music improves the quality of life. No, no, you should be a doctor. I thought focus. you were a doctor. You should know this. Okay, John. I mean, wow. Okay, John. Uh, it's okay, buddy. Focus. I'll play one concert for you. I swear. I, I have just left. I have just left and I'm down in the medical <laughs> bay. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Uh, as you walk oh, yeah, downstairs, yeah. you see the guy sort of just grunting and trying to pull and yank out his way out of the restraints. And he, he has almost not an out, but like, except for like a couple of wrist restraints and stuff uh, still left. He looks at you uh, and almost sort of like starts yelling at you for letting him stay here for a while. You don't understand. I need to go. Fuck shit. Hey, they, they, hey. They're, they're fucking. Yes. Shh. It's okay. Get me out of here. It's okay. Breathe. Breathe. It's You're okay. It's not okay. You don't understand. Okay. Tell me what's going on. A war is going to happen unless I reach my destination. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you want money, just take me and fucking leave me, please. Okay. Okay. All right. You've been through a very, very serious ordeal. I, I'm going to, I'm going to no free shit. one of your restraints. Just one of them. If you promise not to hit me. Oh no. Yeah, will you let as a go? yes, I will eventually. But as a sign of good faith, I'm releasing one of your strengths. Mm. Okay. 
All right. Are you opening? Yes, I'm going to open. Yeah, he just, you know, like he's calm. He looks at you. Okay. Very I take a step. Okay. I take a step back so that I'm out of his reach. Okay. Listen, mm-hmm. we found you on the ship. You were stabbed. You were very close to death, but your implant basically saved your life. And we've been monitoring. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to do. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Um, Who are you, though? So here's what happened. Okay. Yes, I know. So one of the guys you attacked, one of the guys who boarded your ship. Okay. Before everything, shut the fuck up. Uh, Has there been any news about Luna? Who the fuck is Luna? The moon. moon. Oh, the moon. I thought you know you meant as 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 a person, Luna. No, there has been no news about the moon. moon. Okay. Which moon? Whose moon? Uh, Earth's or Earth's moon? Dave, you're not there. Oh, no, 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 he's just so asking out of character. Out of character. Oh, oh, okay, okay, he's asking out of character. Earth's moon. It's called Luna. Because there's so many oh, moons in the solar system. Yeah. Yeah, hence us. Okay, uh, go on. How many days has it been? It's been at least two days. I don't know how much longer. Uh, but so basically what happened is one of the dudes who killed you, or, or, or like one of the dudes who boarded uh, the ship, um, he kind of escaped put on his clothes on you to make you look like the officer from the UN and, and he escaped and then he gave us the ship for free and we were like fuck it free ship why not and which I, I'm seeing now is it was a very very terrible what idea what kind of morons take a free ship <clears throat> listen if you meet John John you will realize what kind of morons take a free ship okay alright <gasps> let, let me go <laughs> open this he uh, you know like raises his wrist to let you free him you're not going to attack me, are you? I beg you promise. Okay. And are you going to try to escape? <laughs> we're in the, we're, we're in, on, on fucking Mars, yes, by the way. Yes, we are going to try to escape from a sh- spaceship. Yes. Yeah, because of course. we have we have escape pods, right? So I, I don't know what the fuck you're on. So. We don't. He doesn't need to know that. We have escape pods. He doesn't need to know that. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. I'm just messing around. It's fucking ship. Yeah, so we've had it for a few days. We could have made upgrades. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just messing around. Eva, can you unlock these? Yeah, Eva is not... Unlock. Wait, what the fuck? Eva? (laughs) The betrayal? I thought thought he wasn't your operator anymore. You see, you hear no answer. She doesn't show up. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! All right, where are we right now? We're about to slingshot around Mars to go to Eros. Oh great! Oh great! So entirely in the wrong direction. Um. Well, okay. I mean, we we found your ship on 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 Ceres. Oh, it was already on Ceres. Yeah, there was a riot. Break now our shit was about to go real. And so we, we left we gotta because... go back. Yeah, we're not going back, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what the riot was about? No water. Oh. As always. That fits. That actually fits. Where's your group? Come on. What is going on? I need to give me some answers first. I can't just take you up there for, with everyone. Okay. Oh, what is your question? What the fuck is going to happen on Luna? Uh, would you like the answer in person or would you like the answer while your other people are with you? Um, sure. Okay. Why, why is Eva responding to you when, when we have a new operator? Because of reasons. That's not an answer. That's not a proper answer. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. Here's you know what, this is going to take too much time. He just like, clocks you in the jaw. (laughs) Do I have time to react? Because I I did step away from him to get out out of his uh, thing. Are you going to, are you going to contest the the thing? Before you, I'm going to take two steps back as he tries to clock me. Mm -hmm. Not, I'm not going to try to fight him. I'm just going to take two steps back and whip out my gun. I need need to to make a dexterity, this thing. Fucking hell, okay. (laughs) Do it, do it. Uh, what is my dex? 42, right? Ooh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, no oh, way! Oh, no oh, way! Oh, you're scared on. Oh, he's scared on. Uh, no, no, I think that's, uh, that's a mistake. 
No, there's no one say it's get on. So you got a 42. I deleted the thing. Oh, no, don't wonder. Do that's that's chain on it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Mm. That's his real name. We got it. <laughs> you didn't get it in character though. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we didn't get it in character. Fine. All right. So, uh we got the bar. ऑल sense of it and you easily step out and he falls to the ground ah uh, as right. much as you can fall in very low gravity but still fair enough all right now that we've established uh, you're too weak to do anything to oh, fucking hell fucking hell god damn it okay so this time i'm going to get actual fucking rope to tie him to the bed <laughs> and not the whatever restraints that eva has there's probably some rope in the damn. medical bay or somewhere i'm going to tie him up tie his hands like each each hand to each side of the bed and then tie it together as well for extra whatever and i'm going to tie him up and then tie him up you see eva pop up huh? right next to you what are you doing in oh, my mush. swamp eva what the fuck is going on i do not understand the question my fucking god eva <laughs> is is this is he still your operator negative make what negative oh negative negative negative, negative. negative. okay make so no then more. why did you let his restraints go she processes for a second it was not under command to not let anyone do that that is such oh. bullshit eva god nice that is such It's bullshit really. eva so essentially uh, this was not like a lock and key kind of system right like he's not a prisoner as yeah. per eva so it was more like eva just asked him he just asked eva yeah. to do the restraint and anyone on the board on the ship can you know do that for themselves makes sense makes sense while sleeping yeah. oh nice you very soon realize eva is not a very nar- uh, reliable ai in terms of what ai you think is yep. or can be like an algorithm that's all yeah what are you trying to do uh i'm going to go back upstairs okay um by this time it has been 10 minutes so you still have uh, about 1 hour and 40 minutes or so guys guys we have a problem we have a very big fucking problem um so dudes awake firstly secondly there is there is a lot of shit going on in the sense that he seems to be here to stop a war which i don't understand he says something's going to happen on luna and he says we need to go back to series because he was trying to stop a war and i i don't know what the fuck and apparently uh, eva DM? eva uh, let him speak now okay continue 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 apparently fucking eva is not that loyal to us anyway the fucker asked him to re- remove asked her to remove his restraints and she did without question without nothing she's like it wasn't in my parameters to not let him go what the fuck bro i thought i thought eva was your your friend whatever john john what the hell eva next time please don't let anybody go no you fuck oh them. my god oh, no, no no john reverse that <laughs> oh. john Never reverse mind, uh, oh my god ignore that uh, request please uh, what do you want me to tell eva Again. Oh my god. Carl, I see I see why you have been spiraling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't anyone tied up leave without our permission. Escape. No, no. No, 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 no. That's that's very Oh my god, this has to be Let's like not, a oh. Focus, focus. Let's not get into an Eva conversation or a John John conversation because by the time that conversation gets halfway through, we'll already be boarded. By okay the listen probably be in jail listen we need to figure out what to do about yeah. the dead body and i seem to i, I might have an yeah. idea okay, as do um, i i'd like to hear oh, yours uh, have you heard of this classical movie called weekend at bernies 
Oh no. Oh my god. I am a face mama. What is a movie? <laughs> it's it's <laughs> you probably know what a movie is. <laughs> I do I know what a movie is? You do I do. You guys have what? seen like do they, do they still have movies? Yeah, yeah. Why would he not oh, have movies? Oh. What do you mean? John John will definitely know it though. John John will have like CDs or something. Yeah, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he'll have. Uh, do I know of any he, uh, the uh, person uh, the, the I for, keep forgetting? Uh, yeah, Shane. Shane said that the person mentioned a war on Luna. Do I know anything? Nope. We have not heard much of about it, but you have been sent, you know, to. uh series to investigate some sort of weird transactions and this uh, could be vaguely connected it seems you know what i'm okay. i'm going to look at shane uh yeah so where is this person again at he's passed out in in the time? in the medical bay okay i'll go talk to him for a bit then and i'm mm. going to make my he's way to the medical out. bay okay. he tried to punch me and then it's he punched i stepped back and he, and he passed out so He still let's, hasn't recovered uh, from. Yeah. Dave, would it make sense for us to have a conversation first before you go talk to him, since he's passed out as well? We can't really do like, anything. Let's make uh, an email. Can we? We please so like me, my idea. Please tell me Dave has just like walked off already. <laughs> Dave. Dave. I think Rick yeah. Bide has walked off already. That, Dave. Okay. I think Greg Bright is not going to continue. What are we doing? Okay. Okay. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Dave. Ah. Yeah. I've I've made my way to the medical bay. I've I've just left. Already gone there. Nice. Okay. This is just last session over again. Okay, I'm trying to give them my plan and ask if they have a, a you know, anyone else apart from Shane and John John have a, a good plan. Uh, mm-hmm. My plan is basically that we still have the uniform of this uh, dead UN official. We can make like we can put the uniform back on him uh, on the corpse, uh, and you know, like put some sort of a ceremonial kind of a. you know if there's a flag or anything like that to make it seem like oh you know somebody died in the line of duty and so this diplomat uh, you know on an urgent mission is trying to get the body safely uh, to the family uh, to so yeah, i mean they don't have to know where the family is okay yeah so we can we could try to tell them that uh but i don't think i mean that's like a last resort because i think we should pursue we all are options we're getting one thing mm-hmm. they they're boarding us because of a certain person that certain person mm-hmm. isn't here and they don't they don't they have fake ids of us they don't have our real selves uh so what if one of our real ideas would also get flagged and like there would be an issue with that i am not aware like i've not done anything against mars as far as i know uh, i mean i probably wouldn't so yeah i don't know what my situations at but like are you comfortable with sharing your real id with the mars and navy and taking your chances there shouldn't we have thought about this I... before hold on uh, nano Mm-hmm. Do I even have an ID? Yeah, in the start of it. No, no, I don't mean that. Like, have, do I have an ID? Because mm. I, I don't think you would have an ID which you would want to present, so to speak. Yep. Or which would pass an authentication check. Yep. Mm. Do you have an ID? So that's not possible. Okay. Okay. Uh, I know. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, just one small question: Do we have long-range comms on the ship? Mm, yeah, medium-range comms on the ship. Where Where are you trying to reach? Anywhere on the belt. Ah, uh, there are like certain sections of the belt that you can reach. 
yeah so like my my proposition is that like i would have contacts who can, who can forge ids so we could oh, try you to do yourself that, like, can forge can... ids that's not a problem no like mm-hmm. uh, but like for everyone if i have to forge it it'll be a bit hard right like so that's something mm-hmm. which like to pass the martian uh, you know their uh, screening okay. would i be able to do that or can uh, you sh- you do have certain confidence in your own skills as well okay so i relate that to the group as another option okay uh what were you saying shin i was firstly i was going to say shouldn't we have thought about this before we decided to choose to go through martian airspace to do this firstly john john shouldn't you have told us that this would be a possibility I mean there was no other way to it. So we could have we could have gone to a different location is what I'm saying if this is what we would have to go through. Secondly, how how about this? Okay. We <clears throat> I don't I don't think they have sufficient technology to to guess how many people there are on the ship, right? They know there are life forms on here. There's there's two things that I'm considering mm. right now. One I like mm. Fal's idea. I I like Fal's idea of of dressing this dude up and pretending to be someone who died in the line of duty right the the only thing with that is let's let's get to, so so what i'm thinking is we dress him up we pretend that he's a member of the high whatever security he died in the line of duty and uh, dave has been instructed to to take his body to the end uh, wherever he needs to go and the reason we lied is because we didn't want anyone to find out that this dude had died because it would cause an international it would cause an interplanetary inter- incident right and then in the meantime those of us who don't want our actual uh, ids to be shown we can hide somewhere maybe under the beds maybe fucking i don't know in, in a closet maybe down in the storage tank we hide there you could hide anywhere really like that's that's what this is what i'm thinking right and as a result we inspect the ship so, so so that's what i think right this is one of the options we have the, the what ifs will happen eventually but if we have this as a solid plan and all of us agree to this and all of us agree to stick with this story they might just le- let us be because nobody wants an international interplanetary inter- incident by desecrating the corpse of a of a fallen um human official right oh my god guys i just remembered something this is pretty important hold on uh so you know back back in the day when i was a pilot and we used to do covert operations and stuff we had certain phrases that could get past you know checks in naval space you want me to try that but i don't know the procedure after that i, I just know the last keyword i didn't remember okay that lots of shit i don't like the navy they betrayed me what do you expect you remember all the key phrases there's lots of key phrases but oh, we don't know God. if it'll work or not we can try it i said we touch the ground <laughs> we can use that as a as a secondary resource resort maybe we keep because they are going to board us anyway right there's no way to stop the boarding no we can stop the boarding if they hear the space because that's the check the law was to pass i mean i'm hoping so that the key keyword key last time i remember that that's still applicable okay you know what that, i don't know if it's risky but you know what are we going to do sure i'm I i'm i'm still okay flash either ways i think we should before we make that decision also we should talk to dave about this decision that we're taking or like this option that we have and i think i would really want to talk to malik nasim uh in general about like all the data he has but also about this whole war thing and what implications that has to like you know if we get boarded uh yeah mm-hmm. to see if there are any other options he has all right uh, but we are running out of time so we need to make a decision in the next hour i'm assuming mm, yeah we need to talk more like wait. 50 minutes Oh god. Okay, we need to talk to Dave and Malik Nasim right now. And just All right. They're both downstairs. Yeah. Cool. So we go there and we just brief the two of them of like the options that we have so far, what the situation is and what options we have so far. 
and hold up i'd like to talk to the guy first yeah and and also does anybody yeah, else have any other ideas mm-hmm. in the in the group right now mm-hmm. kalpana okay. mm-hmm. kumila do you yeah, have any that's, ideas that's some good ideas i think going 20fk question i don't think no i'm not here oh. i mean i mean mm-hmm. uh, i don't think this the way to solve this and then trying to stop the voting itself okay so you prefer the other option the one where we okay. pretend to dress up this dude as a someone as a war hero no i i want uh, to try and stop them from uh, getting us voted oh okay all right okay okay so so john john's method then you're saying or do you have a, a different idea is it not any way uh, to get out of here uh dm do we actually like if for example that mm-hmm. this uh, we are already yeah. in the rare space anyhow we can we have no choice mm-hmm. we are already heading towards i mean using the this thing right can we yeah. use that as a maneuver to outmaneuver them like can i do that uh... like it will be a fight but it will be like can we that that's essentially what i'm assuming will happen if I, we if you want to outrun the martian navy yep i have that a beam or something is it oh possible no that no 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 that hold on know. i'm asking uh, options it uh, would be unwise as per every um the thing <laughs> like got um, it every instinct that you have okay 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 mm-hmm. um Let's just talk to Dave and uh, let's talk to Dave and uh, debrief uh, Malik Nasim. Like we can tell him that like any other questions, anything else that we have, we can set that aside after we get past this Martian airspace, speed, whatever thing. So uh, yeah, we can ask if he has any other options. uh and then like get our gl- game plans ready because we have less than 15 minutes now okay uh meanwhile what are you doing um uh, dave i would like to make my way to the medical uh, bay and mm-hmm. see what's if he's awake if he's still unconscious he's still unconscious <laughs> I am going to uh, lift him up. I'm going to place him in a chair. I'm going to gently uh, pat his back. Oi. Hey, wake up. Huh? Oi. Yes. What? Uh, uh, are we there yet? Uh, there where? Uh where are we going? Uh, yeah, I had some questions. It's barely been 5 huh? minutes since you have been knocked out cold. Um, yes. So, um my friend told me you mentioned something about a war on Luna. Can you tell me more? Yes. We need to prevent war on Luna. Yes. I, Very bad. I I I uh, get that you need to prevent uh, a war on Luna. What uh-huh. is the I haven't heard about it yet. Uh there is no war currently on Luna. I we have we we proven and he just like sort of How like starts we... to drift back to sleep wait i'm going to grab some i'm going to grab like a glass of water and throw it at, at his face oh my uh, god yes. you are wasting yes. wa- oh my god yes. and and yeah you're wasting just water like a, it's a, it's a, a huge blob of water just like splashes on his face ah uh, yes <laughs> yes yeah uh can can you like stay a little awake uh, You, what do you mean? Can you, can you take war? me back? Take you, take you back. I'll discuss that with the pilot first. Let me know what do you mean prevent a war? What's the cause of the war? And what do you want uh, to do on? There is the name? a Osiris? plan. There is a plan. There is a plan. Right. To right. Uh, cause uh-huh. havoc on Luna. And, And I who want to is responsible? That. That's this... what I'm here to investigate. on series okay interesting uh do do they have any forms of communication like when you ship uh, if i want to like contact somebody uh, from the un 
you have your uh, data bank uh does that reach that far do they like have like i don't know interplanetary like multiple relays across everything which you can you know okay, yeah. use so i'll i'll i don't know who i know but like uh, who is whoever is my superior mm-hmm. i guess i, I don't know yeah, if yeah. that's how it works in un you know yeah, whoever is like like everyone from the un chief of command to uh like the actually un secretary uh not on a personal basis but like such that you do have access to their um email id so to speak uh who would i know would be like responsible about like stuff on luna and who uh, uh, the told UN me to go to like the uh, general which uh, who uh, this thing mm-hmm. handles luna okay yeah i'll send a i'll send a, what a message voicemail email whatever is like mm-hmm. possible from my data bank uh okay. stating that something like this uh, i got to learn about it or something be happening on cyrus okay all right take care okay noted uh being well, like uh, i think everyone else is coming down would have reached yes mm-hmm. this guy still like pretty out of it i'm going to continue like slightly Uh, slapping him so that he stays awake okay <laughs> nice so, all right what are the okay. other people doing hmm. uh i'll just i'll tell shane to debrief dave about uh, you know what options we have right now and uh, so we can just split the like whoever discussed above like we can just split amongst ourselves half of us go to malik nasim half of us go to dave and try to figure out a game plan yeah uh malik. yeah so we go to malik nasim okay you're at malik nasim you see uh his face is wet with like large quantity of water and dave sitting right across him um trying to question him while he is like again drifting back to sleep oh shit uh shane do you still have that epinephrine or whatever probably somewhere yeah yeah could you give him like a shot of that or anything to just like keep him awake sure i don't think it's a good idea but Sure. Oh, guy's gonna die, I mean, isn't like, he? Gonna fucking kill the guy. Okay. Yeah. In, you know, in what way? Two shots. A good idea. Like, like you know, for shot? his for his health, for his health. Like, he, it, he like needs the rest. Though? No, like right now he needs the rest, Did and this could this could cause complications with his recovery and everything. So, like, we'll all be boarded, and like, it'll have like massive repercussions to all of our health if. we don't find a solution in the next 45 minutes sure okay so i, I give him yeah, a just give shot. him like a small yeah like a small shot or something like a like a booster <laughs> uh, like two shots of espresso kind of thing uh-huh. two shots of epinephrine fucking his heart is going to explode <laughs> two shots of espresso i know but you're saying little bit little bit <laughs> I don't know what's up. Okay. No, 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 cool, cool, cool. I know, I know. Yeah, I'm just. And I saw around. this in like season 500 of Grey's Anatomy. I think I know how this works. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, you give him the shot or not? Yeah, sure. Okay. He sort of like yeah. jolts awake. and immediately gets into like a punching uh, punching sort of like thing but then he realizes his wrist are tight so he can't yes okay ah, let me out let I'm me out of here i'm like here let okay. me out Calm of down. here no listen to me no uh, camilla could you just He's like punch super him super hyper because of the different <laughs> shot ah uh, yeah camilla could you just like punch him like light this is uh um, like fuck him down or slap him lightly to calm him down it is very <laughs> you, bad 
I'm not going to touch him, dude. I'm just a pilot. Oh, okay. These hands are golden. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Malik, we have to listen done. to me. Our, our, our lives are at stake right now. We can't prevent the war that you want to prevent if we don't survive the next hour. He, are you talking to him? Yeah, Malik. Yeah, I'm talking Malik. to him. I told all of this to him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. uh okay what have we got what's the situation where we where are we we need to go to series okay we are we've entered martian airspace and we have Hold been on. hailed we're going i know okay. you yeah let's not get into that right now i have a lot to say as well you but let's that focus you're the bastard who gave me oh. that data didn't you you hired what? me I just yes. did my job. Dude like focus right now. Yes, but you're the kind of person who gives that data and that's why I needed to know who are the people compromisable. We fired okay. them all I... just to prevent this disaster. You're the kind of people who I don't know. Will this be the day revolution? What's with who this? You're people? the kind of people they, okay? We do what Hackers. we have to do to survive. Yeah, we do what we have to do to survive. Uh, Who is this V you keep talking about? I, we just see you over here. I mean, Who like is... everyone on the belt, we do what we have to do to survive and like fight against that was, Earth that was, that was or, or or Mars. I said that to Malik, not Kant. Oh. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Malik keeps saying V, V, V. Okay. Oh, uh, this is scary, dude. I'm gonna get some food. <laughs> okay, dude. Listen, I'm talking like John John now. Uh, it's a dude accident, and I just influence grows. Yeah. Yes. We can discuss this later. We can like, you know, like fight over whatever differences we have. But we're being boarded by the Martian Navy in like 45 minutes. if you don't have any good suggestions to prevent that then i don't know like oh, we'll put you under something God. else that um that's a disaster uh okay uh get me into touch with them let me see what i can do uh hmm uh, uh, i just look at everybody what else you can do one thing I'm sorry. I said you need to tell us what you're going to do before you do anything right now because the situation is already complex. I'm going to tell them exactly what I know. Nice. That is which is uh, nothing. I'm going to tell them that hey, we are a bunch of people. I'm going to give them all of our IDs and we are going to words eros and then we'll go back to series because uh, we need to and there's a un diplomat on board and they'll be fine with not boarding the ship well that. the un diplomat should have probably thought of that before boarding such a yeah yeah that's yeah that's definitely i agree on that but like we'll all still suffer the consequences of that won't we uh that is true Yeah, so let's let's focus on that before we think about like you know throwing the diplomat out of the airlock or something. Any other oh. smart ideas then? I mean, that is a that is a possibility, isn't it? You know, like 
I just I slap him again. <laughs> Epic diplomat. <laughs> This is like the best <laughs> diplomat I've ever seen. <laughs> Let me out of this and then we'll see what you can do. <laughs> I can assure you. Let's I just... can do a lot of things, mate. Hey, John John okay, walks let's, by. Let's bring out the sexual tension here. <laughs> John John walks by and he says, uh, "You know, if you should listen to them, are they going to put you with the zombie?" He just walks away. Okay, let's let's focus on the mission. Wait, what zombie? No, no, there's no zombie. No, there's yeah. no zombie. <laughs> there's no zombie. Where the let's fuck is the zombie? The It's Eva. We saw Eva and we got scared. Let's focus on the mission now. Eva is not a zombie. She is not, which is why I'm <laughs> saying let's focus on the mission. Don't zombie is dead. Trust me. Just John, listen John, to them. John, John, All John, you John, need just, to do is listen to them and them. save our ass. Okay, I'm going food. <laughs> okay, now like, what is your like? That's not gonna work. We've told you, like, you know, they will still board us even if you just tell them who you are and like give all of our IDs. They will still board us. Well, doesn't that one work for the uh, the the, uh, the Martian Navy? I saw his document. The one who just said zombie. Me, John John. Yeah, I he's mean, talking about John John. Yeah, yeah, he's the one who brought us into this situation. Okay, so why can't he just like tell them to fuck off? Um, I don't think that's. I don't know how likely that would be. So we're trying to think of like more realistic options as well. He doesn't seem very persuasive from uh, you know what we've seen so far. Yeah, yeah but he's you want me to use the you secret code? That it's a covert op. Yeah. Oh my god. Use the he knows about it. I, I can do it. It's a secret op to the Martian Navy. They'll they'll ask for his commanding officer or like anything like that to verify with them. Good. I was the commanding officer. If we keep officer. thinking about what ifs, not, not, nothing is going operation. to happen. All right. So we we give it a shot. If it doesn't work, then we think of a different solution. Let's let's do it this way. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, fine. John, yeah. John, give me, give you ask you whatever thing to them. No, no, no. I got to use it myself, bro. This is the yeah, way. Yeah, that's what. Give it to them, in... as in like. Okay, yeah. okay. I'm on the way. I'm on the way. I I still have a oh, plate of food with me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, <wow. laughs> got to have that. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, then I go to command. And basically, I tell them. Um. And I have a what do you say special authentication for key phrase that I'd like to OTP. So from use. what you remember, you just uh, supposed to just say it, you know, like without any. Okay. 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 So then I say the I say the keyword pineapple platypus. <laughs> for for a brief while, nothing happens, and you then hear the voice. Pineapple platypus confirmed. Uh, then, on your screen, you start seeing certain numbers appear. Okay. Yeah, and uh, the numbers uh, after the numbers, it just like shows you an empty slot, which seems like where you're supposed to put, uh, you know, your answer at or something to that, to those numbers. Numbers to I see. Yeah, one minute. Let me tell you the numbers. So they have too many things open. And there's It's a panel. Like this is a capture. Oh, capture. it should be. A Martian capture. Shane oh Smith. Word. Steve said four. Oh fuck! Eight, oh fuck! One, five, one, no fuck! Five, two, three, oh four, no! Two. The no fuck! The C- oh my god! <laughs> Lost. <laughs> Sassy bye. I didn't know TTS was, was on. on. I didn't know TTS was on. My bad. See, this is why I have this. restricted TTS so far. <laughs> I know that something's gonna happen while we are live. Nice. That's why Please. I had it restricted. Let's anyway. pretend Eva. Let's pretend Eva said that. Sure. Huh? Just like randomly. <laughs> okay. So in front of you, you see the numbers appear. Uh, one forty-four, eighty-nine. Let me make a note. Okay. Okay. One forty-four, eighty-nine, eighty-nine, and then fifty-five, eighty-nine, and then 
one blank space and after a while another blank space wow is this some sort of a arithmetic progression kind of a thing okay, 144 89 89 55 and two spaces right yes is it an aptitude test okay then i i call <laughs> fal i call uh, i call everyone actually i call everyone okay. on board uh okay. guys can you come here i need help Uh, yeah, the numbers I are thirty-four and twenty-one. Lastly, how did you did you put it in? So here's how it works, right? No, no, no. The, so the it's like this: one forty-four and then eighty-nine, right? Fifty-five is one forty-four minus eighty-nine. Then the next one is going to be eighty-nine minus fifty-five, which is thirty-four. Then it's going to be fifty-five minus thirty-four, which is twenty-one. Okay. Um, are you guys okay. here in the flight deck? Yeah, I mean, you called us, so like we would have come, right? Okay, okay, cool. If you have come, then, Kalpana okay. stays back with Malik. Kalpana stays back. With Malik. <clears throat> She's not leaving him alone. On... Yeah. Okay. For the okay. operations or flight tech, just like near computers to uh, try to deal with this. Uh. So yeah, like Shane gave the answer, right? Okay, what's the answer again? I I feel like it's thirty four and twenty one. But I could be wrong. Okay, shall I do it? All the best. Dave Boston, R R G B Y T E Z A F K. Okay. That's one way of saying that. At least he told us this time. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. So, uh, confirmed, guys. All the yeah, best. yeah, thirty-four and twenty-one. Go ahead. Okay, I, I type in thirty-four and twenty-one at the last two okay. spaces. For a second, nothing happens, and after a while, uh -huh. you just hear a uh, see two words appear on your screen: uh, "pineapple platypus." Go, and <gasps> all the flags clear up. Oh my Let's god! Fucking go! Oh, this oh, is yeah. so easy. Oh yeah, I give everyone so easy. No, um, see, out of character. If this was any more difficult, we would have spent two hours here. So, I mean, okay, hold on. You did, you did. <laughs> Nano, okay. Nano figured out we need to give simple, stupid math problems to these people, or else nothing will ever work. <laughs> That's what's happened. <laughs> okay, okay, I give high fives to uh, everyone. Yeah, it's my balls are sweating. <laughs> what? What? Right, I think what. What my uh, balls are sweating! <laughs> oh my god! Why? Oh. Why, John? John, I didn't need that a mental image. I oh my god! I heard my pulse is high, and I was like, okay, fine. No. Why, are, why are people thinking so much you about this? You heard pulse. I heard pulse. <laughs> I'm just gonna get to operations and buckle down. Okay. Uh, I think this is a okay. nice. Time to take a break for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh my happy, God! Dude. Whatever you wanna do, let's come back here in uh, five minutes, like at seven forty. Yeah. Awesome. Oh. Yeah, John, John for the win. Sweet. Oh, no, not the yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> oh, I meant, dude. I meant, dude. Ignore too that late. last command. Too late now. No, Eva. <laughs> okay, I'm going on break. Bye. Okay. Everyone's here. Where is Fal? Fal left us. No, no. Fal's here. Fal's left. Fal's here. Let's go. Resume. Resume. Okay. Resume. Resume. These. Anyway. Uh, oh, no. So what are you? What are we all doing? Uh, a yeah, couple so of you are... work. Hmm, sorry. Good. No. Where, where were we? Like, yeah, recap is good. Good. Yeah. Okay. So a couple of you are uh, going towards uh, Nasim. Um. And what were the other half doing, Fal? We were trying to solve this whole math thing, so we were in operations and uh, okay. John John's deck. still in the flight deck. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, please rearrange your tokens so like it's a bit more easy for me visually as well. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, I'm in all. Let's move towards uh, David and Nassim. Or what are you guys doing? I probably and would. DM the Ghana as you. Just checking in once. We're clear, right? We're clear okay. of Martian uh, problems. You have now? slung a shot across the space and you're oh. leaving the space right now towards Eros. Oh, snap. Yeah. Nice. Oh, snap. Okay, hey, okay, I'm, thank I'm you. trying to look for my token. I can't find it, so I'm just not going to try. Uh, you're here. You can't find your token. How can you this not you. find it? It's this. One. You can click on the find my token. There's a, there's a find my token button, man. Oh, you know what? It's not token. even his fault. Uh, I haven't updated the photo that he gave me, so it's probably mine. Oh. It's fine. Oh. Continue. Yeah, so I would look at the guy who's currently winning probably in a lot of uh, well, I, let's just say he has made questionable life choices meeting us but uh, I would like to look at him uh, right oh, uh, so I heard you had uh, information about sold you that uh, you sort of like cut off after information about uh, you had information about me uh, can you tell me who where did you get it from Oh, you have files of draws. My what? Your, your files, of course. He seems to have a I... problem speaking anymore. Oh no. And where, where did you get these files, may I ask? I am part of the UN. We have files on everyone. We are keeping an eye on everyone. You're part of the UN. We are on the same side. What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> What? Ah, I uh, what? <laughs> what? Why? Well, sorry to you hmm. know for the rough uh, treatment. Then I suppose. Uh, welcome aboard the ship. I suppose. <laughs> I like it. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll re- let you rest. Uh, I'll be outside if you need me for anything. Uh, I've already sent a message to the uh, sec- secretary general. No, you do nothing. We don't know who is involved in this whole scheme and who's not. <laughs> We're not supposed I, to send communication um, over open channels. Is it an open channel? Huh, maybe it was. It was. Anyways, uh, I'll send a message. Uh, he'll be with it when the uh, <laughs> Anyways. Anyway. Epic. No, Epic. no fucking espionage. No. <laughs> I that love it. Hard. This is the oh, most God. fun ever. I kind of just pinch so my nose. Just proper, uh, proper diplomat. Yeah, it did, it did. I'm gonna look at him. I'm gonna uh, pat, walk to him, pat his shoulder gently. Uh, well, I hope you have uh, a better time recovering than uh, what you did currently. Uh, and uh, uh-huh. okay, meaning you know your health. Uh, you you don't you seem to be struggling you a little bit. If you need any, to me. That's what I, didn't I was punch struggling you. I, with. I, I, I slapped you, look. This, this is different. I, I, I didn't fight you. You, you. can't blame me for senseless violence. I put my hand on Dave's shoulder and go, Dave, you should probably just leave. Let me talk to him. <laughs> if anything. You're probably smarter. <laughs> I can't move my tokens. Oh, oh no. Yeah, I, I just... Eh. I, um, I make my way to the okay. flight there. All right. Uh, what are you doing uh, at this point, Gun? At this point, I'm just wondering where he got all the information on everybody. Okay. I know that's already been answered, but... Mm-hmm. It's just that UN is keeping an eye on literally every single person. They're just that uh, paranoid. Currently. So they have files for everybody on the ship in the ship? Apparently. Okay then. Uh, meanwhile, what's happening in the... Yeah. 
Yeah, Kalpana is also there with uh, Malik. Okay. Uh, okay. So Kalpana, I would like to ask Malik. Uh, she say, so you say you have files of everyone. You have files about me. Do you know about me as well? Uh, yeah, I mean to an extent. And how far is that extent to? Is this a general knowledge question? What's happening here? You're a person of interest for the UN. We're just keeping a file. We we are not interested in what crimes you do and not. We just care about whether or not you're a threat to UN. Currently, we don't consider you a threat. Is that if that's what you're asking? We think and... that there's potential for you to become a threat, and there is also potential for you to become a valuable asset to the UN. So there's both options. Uh, Kalpana scoffs as she hears uh, hears that become valuable asset for you. Huh? Uh, you make jokes. Nice. Why were you going to series to investigate some riot something? When we left series, there was a big riot, and that we had to deal with promotion and doing that. Do you we might have anything related to that? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you properly. There's a plane going by. It didn't want to happen. <laughs> Nice. Talking military aircrafts. There's a plane going by in the spaceship. Can't hear you. Uh, yes, yes. In the spaceship, this plane going by. Yes. Yeah. Sassy can finally yeah. say it's an Air Force. <laughs> yeah, that is an Air Force. Oh. All right, go ahead, please. Yeah, uh, I was saying that there was a biggest riot when we left series. Would you would your research, what your investigation, would be related to that? Uh, let's just say that it could have been involved in what was happening. It was not supposed to happen before I went there, though. So does that? Has Dave left already, or is still is Dave still there? Uh, I shoot Dave away. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, Dave's gone. Okay. Uh. Well, you call yourself a member of the UN, but you were attacked by two other members of the UN who boarded you. They don't What's... know who I am because, the, well, the, the ship, look at the ship. It's not UN marked, is it? Well, you could have told them. I tried to. They didn't believe me. Very loose context going on around. You going on saying there's going to be a war on some moon somewhere? You're a That's paranoid what... person, aren't you? Well, so for someone who is whose home has been taken advantage of by two biggest planets and their corporations, I tend to become paranoid, as any uh, normal person would. Oh, you're one of those. <laughs> Boohoo! Earth and Mars exploits <laughs> bills. Of course you are. Yeah, now I believe you are a member of the UN. Typical people. <laughs> by that time, I think other people, other people would have joined us by now. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'd be like, so I, I'd immediately. I mean, like, if I'm seeing Kalpana, is Kalpana still talking to Malik? Yes. Yes. Mm, okay, then I. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, is she oh, still talking oh, to him? Fuck. Yeah, sorry, good. What happened? Oh, nothing. I'll, I'll not... tell you. It's not for us to know. Look what the, the fuck? Look at the role. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs> is that good for us? That's a hey, critical look. fail for what it was, you know, like I rolled for. Yeah, so it's good for us. Is it? We're is it? Is it? That. That's what airlock that. opens. Ahead, so. oh, Everything okay. starts collapsing. <laughs> nice. No. Oh. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, yeah. yeah, so I'll just I'll I'll walk over to Kalpana and be like, "Do you get any info out of him?" Yeah, well, I well, I believe now he's one of those assholes from the UN. Ah, that's a bit redundant, but yeah. As you I say, mean, asshole, he sort of like struggles with his ropes and like just you know growls at you almost. 
and then starts frothing at his mouth. Nira <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. he seems to be having a cardiac episode. Oh shit. Um oh, no. <laughs> Call is it. Shane in here? <laughs> is Shane here? Oh Shane is oh, in shit. operations, no? No. Uh, well, if Al came down, I'm assuming I killed him down, Wildan. Okay. Everyone came down, didn't they? I'm still in flight deck. As well, do you stay there then? Yeah. Romanticizing with ego over there, SMH. Okay, let's focus up. <laughs> yes. Uh, Shane, are you? So, are you in medical with us? Yeah, yeah, I think so. So, what are you doing, Shane? Um. All right, everybody, back the fuck up, Eva. I need, I need support. What the fuck is going on with him? Eva pops up. He seems to be having an uh, having a cardiac episode. Okay. Is there anything I can do to prevent it? To to alleviate the symptoms? Uh, You're the one with the medical. Degree. You're the doctor. <laughs> You're asking an. She suggests putting on the medical uh, this thing, a bracelet on him to monitor his vitals, and giving him some sort of uh, what's it called. Uh, Give me one sec. What was that? Uh, yeah, some sort of medical pack uh, to assist with his recovery if he can recover. Okay, perfect. That's what I do. Okay. All right. What are other people? Oh, what are you guys planning to do? Like, are you just well, watching? While this? while Shane is doing that, uh, Kalpana both move over to Fal and say, "Well, he believes." that whatever information he was looking for, what he was investigating, could have been the cause for the riot and seas that we escaped so, like, by head. Something. Oh. I mean, he talked, gonna, like, he talked as down. if... Hold on. Yeah, go ahead, he go talked ahead. as if... He talked as if he knew the riot was going to happen. And he said it shouldn't have happened before him reaching there. Mm. That's it. That's it. Go on. Okay. Um, yeah. I th- I think we should take this as uh, like take both these things seriously. Like we discussed yesterday, we should do something about Dave having access to UN comms. Uh, so it's like with Dave, it's it's somebody who will just like fumble and cause havoc, but with Malik, it feels like he knows a lot more and and whatever he's doing is very intended. And I don't know if the whole thing about like stopping world war or whatever, or like anything like that would be in our interests as Belters. It would possibly be something which only furthers Earth's control or something like that. It's not going to be anything which helps us. So we need to be careful with uh, both of them. These roles are fucking ominous. Okay. Uh, as as uh, Kalpana hears you say that, she she says, "These fucking UN people, man, they they don't even trust themselves. Much this this guy claims being part of the UN was attacked by two UN soldiers, and now our fucking so called democrat is fucking kicking the democrat." <laughs> Diplomat, no, diplomat. No. Same thing. Sorry, diplomat. I don't think the UN is democratically elected. Yeah, uh, whatever. Well, this fucking diplomat is slapping this guy in the face. I don't mm-hmm. know what kind of feral creatures these guys are. But I don't think yeah, they can like be the... trusted at least. Yeah, so okay. like we need to just figure out what to do amongst ourselves because we're not going to series we're not going to uh you know just like follow anything that these people have as a plan especially malik but especially until we find out more about like what his whole plan is or like what he's trying to do because going by the way he spoke to you uh i don't trust this guy at all especially how he sees belters in, hey, in yeah. my defense, I did not yeah. know. Part no, no, you did not. You, UN. not you, Malik, Malik. Oh no, I'm Malik, talking with you guys. Achha, you said uh, I was slapping. Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Oh, Davis, 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 in on this conversation. 
He I'm standing back. right there. He yeah, came back. Oh, <laughs> uh, I mean, Kamila did throw you away, so. Yeah, exactly. No, I thought, like, I thought you Kamala can see his token literally private. right there. Is that right? <laughs> oh shit, is that him? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh god. Like you're, like you're all outside and like Shane's trying to make sure this guy doesn't fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm just uh, trying to help grab think, medical seems supplies. Like, seems like you're losing him. Just you know, like, keeping you updated about the white boots. Oh, okay. I don't care. <laughs> Kalpana would uh, then say, I'm telling Shane. Yeah. Shane. Kalpana would then say that as soon as we reach Eros, uh, I would like to get to some of my channels at the OP and get more information about what happened actually in the, at the riots on series to get more information about what kind of situation we are in and how it's going to affect us in the whole. Mm-hmm. What is our plan right now? Where, where are we headed? Kalpana looks at uh, Dave with a side eye, sighs a little bit. <sighs> We're still going to Eros. That has been the plan the whole time since you've been asleep. But yeah, that's still wow. the plan. That makes sense. Um, what are, what are, what are we going to do on Eros? I think uh, I think uh, the initial well, uh, the last thing I remember was talks about dumping the dead bodies out, and then I fell asleep. I don't really. Hmm. Kamila is a fine way. You okay, Kamila? You're having a panic attack or something. Yeah, I'm not okay. I'm trying to keep this guy alive. <laughs> <laughs> You're out there He's talking saying. and I'm trying to keep this guy alive. <laughs> it's like so chest is compressions. Saying, yeah, so, yeah, going out the body, just trying to keep him alive. Connection. And he seems to sort of like wake up for a brief second, looks at all of you with like glassy, like glazed over eyes. Please. Don't let them, don't let them bomb. And just like, then, uh, trigger warning, this is not nice. I'm going to do this behind the veil, but he passes away. No. no. Guys, a fucking, guys has a heart attack and dies. Uh, okay, does, does Shane inform us or? Shane and Camilla both know about this and you all see him like sort of like, pop off for a second and then like lay back down. So it's contextual yeah. information is usually enough for people to guess that much. Okay, I guess we're back to having two corpses on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> that's not uh, reassuring, yeah. but that's not good. Uh, I'm going to walk up to Shane. Wait. What 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 happened? Wait, what happened? Oh, do your job. He was he was weak <laughs> and he was dying, and you fuckers made me give him epinephrine. Then you threw water in his face. Then you slapped him and you antagonized him even more, and so his heart gave out. That's why he died. Nice, nice. nice. Um, did you tell the pulse this time? Did you check the first? <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna go check his pulse. I'm just gonna be like, I, I look. I don't know anything about you know medicine stuff. Do medical I check, and then he'll be like, he's alive. And, <laughs> you go and check his pulse. You can like place your hands on his neck, and suddenly you see his hand sort of like rise up and grab your throat. I'm joking. <laughs> Let's go. More zombies. Zombies. More zombies. What the fuck? Uh, okay. Uh, no, yeah. so I'm gonna look at uh, Shane. Yeah, I don't know. Look, I don't know anything much about you know medical stuff. I, I've been. Trained Do you know anything about anything? You fucking happening. sent a message to the fucking Secretary General about this this situation that we know nothing about, without even checking yeah, with the rest of us. I, well, because I know that uh, he can be trusted. So, so you're traveling with us. We're all here to together. We were about to be boarded by fucking Martian authorities, and 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 you didn't even think about telling us about any of this. Wait, how do you know I sent the message? You fucking just told us. I didn't tell you. You told Kalpana. I was right here, bro. Tell us, everyone. Yeah. 
uh, uh, yeah, and Malik Malik told you that like, why did you tr- like you know we can't trust anybody? Why did you send it on an open? Uh, yeah. It, it just we, happened. We it just happened ten it. minutes ago. Yep. Oh no, no, no. At, at that point, at that point, only me and Camilla was there, not yeah. you guys. You guys were on okay. the way. Okay. You don't know that. Okay, yet. that makes sense. Yep. Someone else is still. Uh, no, maybe one of them is piloting, but yeah. Uh, well. BRB. I suppose uh, that's one way to look at it, but I'm pretty sure we can send more people to investigate. Assuming we are not making our way back to um, what was the place? Osiris again? Uh, we're not going to series. We Cyrus? Cyrus Prata? I, I actually <laughs> legitimately started glancing at my notes, checking like, what the fuck is Osiris? No, I, 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 I don't know the uh, thing's name, man. I'm bad with Siri, 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 like, Siri. like, Siri. Uh, like Siri of like Witcher, but series. Yeah, like plural. Yeah, makes sense. That makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we're not going uh, back there, anyways. Yeah, right. we're not. Uh, Dave, can I, can I just ask you to give your UN data pad? We'll put it in a vault. That's for everybody's safety. Uh, I would like to keep it with my, myself. Uh, if you are um, so unsure of it, however, I'm not sure how to deal with it. I mean, I, I can't yeah. just say you hand me over your it's... data page. Right? Camilla, can you I shoot him in the face? Right? Yeah. Or do you I have my hands together and I go, Dave, <laughs> we're in a very sensitive situation right now. <laughs> you <laughs> possibly could have compromised us. Shooting. I'm about this close to start pulling out my gun and start shooting you. <laughs> I need you to listen to Fall. They're like a security expert. Yeah. So like Camilla, Camilla shooting you was the hard way, and like me asking you to put the data pad in a vault is the compromise here. You know, if you're trying to um, get, gauge the situation. What happens if I shoot Camilla first, though? You, you do you have shoot a gun? the Martian mercenary with like you, decades of experience with or uh, you know with weapons? Yeah, I mean, I've used a weapon before. I just pull up my shirt and you see a uh, butt of a gun poking out oh! under my uh, trousers. Okay, can he I punch has... him in the face? <laughs> <laughs> you see, uh, Eva pop up. I sense violence imminent. Would you like me to vacate the air from this compartment? Oh, hello, what? You vacate the air, and I'm going to come up there and rip you out, okay? You give me one punch, Eva. Uh, DM, do Uh, I see Eva pop up? No, you no, no. Uh, do I hear that? The, okay. The in, in no, no. Okay, got it, got it. You, you are so, in the uh, ask that because there. bullets, if like you're in a pressurized yeah, container, yeah, m- that makes sense. Yeah, it will yeah. explode shit. And if she vacates air from this compartment, she all will die. But she doesn't care about that. But like at least the vessel, yeah, the ship will, survive. will, the ship will survive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, got I will it. also yeah. survive. Yeah. But if Camilla just punches Dave, then now I just want to punch him to knock him out right now. <laughs> We're doing PvP now. <laughs> what the fuck? Will this move to PvP? Eh? What the? Oh, no. All right, all right. I have a solution. All right, all right. Listen, Dave. Do you promise not to send any more messages to anyone else without discussing with the rest of us first? Oh yeah, let's oh, trust sure the diplomat. Like the UN diplomat has word. I'd let him speak. Oh, like I can trust you. Um, who? So sells people's information to other people. How can I know that the information? Well, actually, he got his information from the urine database, but that, that's beside the point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I can agree on that. No sending. I, I can't believe uh, I have to be the mediator here. God damn it! All right, Fal, no more information selling. Okay, Kalpana, you haven't done anything to fuck fuck us over, so you're fine. Camilla. Please keep being strong and powerful. We we, we love that. And Dave, I'm going to the cargo bay to just start punching shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kamla needs needs the exercise done. 
yep, yep. Uh, daily three doses of exercise. So we'll be reaching eros in how many days? Uh, wait. It has been three days, so two days, I suppose. Like so, one and a half day, actually. Uh, when we're halfway between Mars so, and Ceres, we're gonna dump the bodies now, like for real, and yes, putting it into. Yeah. No, sorry, uh, Mars, uh, Mars and Eros. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree with uh, Shane on that. Just putting them in crates and then dumping them through the dumping them out. Uh, wait, uh, DM. Mm -hmm. Um, who? Uh, the station we're going to. I forgot the name again. Uh, who is it? Not Eros. Eros. Eros, yeah, Eros, Eros. I think that was the mining one, right? Or was that a different one? No, it's a residential. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Oh. It is controlled by Earth, but not very well. I sort of get that. So, would there, uh, would there be a way to like uh, properly? I don't know what's how cremation works, but like properly uh, cremate the two uh, UN operatives, one or two. Oh, well, uh, yes, that. however, in space? No, no, not in space, the in heroes. Okay, in current culture, most of the people and cultures usually mm -hmm. consider spacing uh, a genuine form of ritual. Uh, yeah, sure, then I'll last rites. Also, we don't care about the rituals culture, we're going to dump them in space. No, I meaning I was thinking, uh, I was asking if this, if this is like one way to do it, then yeah, definitely doing this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, taking dead bodies too. All right. Anyway, are you guys all resting, eating, and all that for till yeah, being, towards Eros? Yeah. Yep. And then going to dump the bodies. Okay. A few hours pass, and you all go back to your routine almost as if nothing has happened. Keep looking out, you see the mask turn back into a small tennis ball and then just vanish off of your screens. After a while, about, you know, like from what you can guess, like a day or two, a day or a half after that, you take the bodies to the airlock. Uh, would you be removing their clothes before spacing them? Uh, they don't have clothes on them anyway, right? We didn't put them back on. Wait, no, 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 you yeah, did wait. put on like uh, the uh, uh, what's it called a medical robe on one of them. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna check the pulses again before we space them mm -hmm. <laughs> multiple times. It doesn't seem to be a pulse. Okay. Weren't we gonna okay. put them in crates and then throw them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the plan. Uh... Oh. Right. You empty up a couple of crates, you fit the bodies inside of them, hammer them up. You wonder what, what to do with the stuff. Is. Exactly. You wonder what to do with the stuff which, you know, like came out of it and then decide to spontaneously just have a, have a decent meal. So whatever came out of the crate was food supplies and you all take oh. whatever spices you can gather, uh, have a <gasps> decent enough cook up. You share the meals across the table and then not very ritualistically, but with like some sort some sort of silence and respect in your hearts, space both of the bodies. Right. That took longer than expected. Uh this was honestly like going to be my uh interlude for today. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, shit. yeah. We took two hours. How, about, how much? Show. How much time did you expect us to take here? Is what I was asking. I have no clue. I am generally all, always surprised by you all. Anyway, we'll <laughs> back to expect the, the unexpected. It's the, the nicest way of saying, "Oh my God, you guys stop." <laughs> why would we? Yeah, yeah. Why would we think that John John's uh, credentials would work after that like disastrous? First interaction he had with the yeah. machine. Yeah, the interaction was correct. Actually, it was correct. My credentials are valid. Just that it's they could recognize the ship blue, signature. Uh, sorry, out of the character, it should be good. It's just uh -huh. sort of like a bit funny. But so far, Fal has uh, what's it called? Failed almost every hacking attempt. I think. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, we succeeded twice. Uh, I'm her best. 
there, there was one success on the on the drive on the data drive yeah, and there yeah, was yeah. one success that's on true. the lift the elevator that's to the box somehow yeah. the uh, consequences yeah. are like just a bit too hard somehow <laughs> yeah sorry go ahead yeah uh till when is the session uh nine Nine, okay. Um, yeah, hmm. break into time. I might hop off in. Uh, no, I'll hop off like maybe right now or like a bit later. I need to go for dinner. Okay. Yep. All right. You go to sleep. I guess. Bye. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to sleep. Anyway, yeah, I forgot to say that. Okay. Twenty five days to Eros. I'm sleeping. Have a good dinner. <laughs> yep, I'll be right back. back. Yeah. We okay, will. That's not though. how it works, but okay. Uh. Anyway, as you approach the the planetoid or asteroid or whatever you want to call it, Eros, there's debate about it. It looks sort of like a P, but with engines on one side of it, or what appears to be a what's it called? Some sort of like a factory, which exists in a giant hole dug up on one side of it. It also gives you a palpable sense of history and transformation because it was once a thriving science outpost it was perhaps one of the first ones developed by humans and now it has developed into a very rich and uh pretty populous area for belters to live in reside in it's a huge diverse community uh teeming with life a uh, There's also a lot of crime, but there's also a lot of freedom fighters, all amongst each other. As you get near the docking bay, the first thing that you, you know, like catches your eye is how the asteroid surface is like uh, littered with different, uh, different eras of its past. Some about science experiments, some with creators of mining and excavation. And recently, uh, places where people seem to have developed their own bubbles of uh, livable environments and continue to somehow survive in this very harsh environment. It's all resource driven, and that somehow always shows through. The docks themselves are a mix of old and new infrastructure. It reflects the same uh, sense of mingling of. how science side of it and the industry side of it has mixed together here it is pretty rusty uh, pretty well worn it seems like it is well patched together for decades so to speak every ship that comes in and docks seem to take away a bunch of existing material from the docks and it has to be patched again together and as you disembark you're greeted with a lot of different sounds mostly people who are speaking their native belter creole in different accents and flavors different colorful bang- banners and makeshift decorations uh different bandanas or uh, wristbands which indicate their factions but somehow across all this diversity you get a sense of unity in the belter spirit it has become a home of belters for long now and the ambience of residential area is pretty diverse and pretty rich but it's also reflective of their p- poor economy currently because they don't get enough resources from the in- inner planets the grilled meats and fr- freshly baked items which are being sold in the markets uh if you look it all closely seem to reflect the same do you see giant rats running around in their small cages giant lizards being cut up and grilled it seems like their culinary traditions have adopted from whatever they can get in front of you you see a shop which seems to sell ship parts services to for ship repairs fuel cells and all that kind of stuff would you like to go there yes uh, dm mm-hmm. uh, would i need my belter survival suit here no 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 do you have a belter survival suit yes 
Survival awesome. suit is just like for uh, very it's harsh environments where like less space. No, so currently you're in atmosphere. Okay. Okay. Cool. cool. Mm-hmm. You have dog. So then, where and... where might I use that? Uh, in vacuum or space. Ah. Oh wait. God. Uh, do I have eros? Yeah, I do have eros. Hey, nice new map. Uh, let me see if the lighting is okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ooh, cool. Currently, you're not oh. on the map, so I'm just like leaving this open so you can see it. But uh, okay. you will start off. Wait, let me draw it. You'll start off from here. You see okay. this area. This is where like huh? you are currently, and this is from where you'll walk in. to the area if you choose to okay this is the shop uh so no this is this is the market area of sorts and this is where like the circle is where the ship is docked up so to speak okay, okay. Mm-hmm. so the shop would okay. be there in the docking area yes. no 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 uh, in the market the huh? shop is inside it's in the market area basically yes. right mm-hmm. okay Oh. Would like to head there if we have, if we have parked, okay. then I would like to head there. Okay. Okay. You walk in, see the ambience is pretty wild and pretty colorful, and you're greeted with uh, an olderish woman, pretty tall. Uh, she seems to have only a couple of teeth on her upper jaw, but her lower jaw seems to be intact. Yes. What can I refer? Oh okay. Can uh Speak oh, up, shit man. wait. <laughs> uh have first time for my ship. Yeah, oh, first time. Oh, do you want something else? Is th- is that why you're hesitating? Yeah. I wanted a oh. portable music player for my ship. Ah. Something I could oh, plug in. Uh ah. Okay. Can play some metal music, dude. Oh, I can. I have these that. tapes. You have tapes. How much will it cost me? Uh, let me just like to sell the tapes. Then I have heard that they're pretty. They bring a pretty money oh, no, no. from collectors a lot. No, no, these tapes are close to my heart. Oh, I can see that. I'll keep them yeah. close to your heart because uh, there's like a lot of people who would, a very well like to take them away from you. <gasps> oh no. Okay, dude. Thanks okay, for the advice. Uh, so, if you want a, a cassette player, as they're called, uh, there are a few sort of like makeshift developed ones, which you can retrofit into your ship if you want. Awesome. Okay. How much does it cost me? That would be sixty credits. Sixty? It's a little much, don't you think? Can't you reduce it by like? See the living conditions here. You can, it's a it's a premium item because this is not a necessary thing, you know. If you want water, that's more expensive. <laughs> uh, uh, can we go for forty at least, please? You know what? I like your face. I'll do fifty. Okay, fifty it is. <laughs> uh, so how long are you docked here for? I don't know, dude. I'm just visiting. I have no idea. This is going to take us at least a couple of hours to install, and if such. Hours? Uh, wait. Let me talk to my technician. I okay. look at uh, Kalpana and then I ask, "Dude, do we have a few hours? They got a tape deck. It's gonna be sick. I can play the metal music for us." John, John, we came here for energy cells. What? What are you buying? I mean, it's my money. I just want a tape deck. It's a good tape deck, dude. Fine, do whatever we want. I go out to the have and a... ask. I, I said, yeah. Wait, said, do we have a few hours? Do we have a few hours to kill? They t- take few hours. Yeah, we'll do anything in the meanwhile anyway. Awesome! Thanks. I go. Yeah, we got. We got. I go to lady and ask, are there any, how much do energy cells go for? 
over here. Also, you right? see, as she is like while you were gone, she seemed to be entertaining another guest, and they were discussing something else. And as soon as you walk up, they both you know like signal something and cut off the conversation. Oh, uh, yeah, you know just that. Uh, that'll be uh one minute. That's going to cost you eighty credits uh, per piece. If you're going for uh, one each, and uh, if you're buying ten of them, it will be uh, seventy credits. Wait, what? Seventy credits per piece. If you're buying ten, eighty credits per piece. If you're buying one. Uh. Okay. We have the diplomat's credit uh, card. Do we have a diplomat's credit card? Diplomat is sleeping. Diplomat is sleeping. Can we? 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 Can I do a hack check to transfer money to my account from it? I would let you do that if you were all uh, if you were still on the ship. Like yeah. from there, you would have to go back, fetch his pad, and do all that kind of stuff. It'll be like multi yeah. multi step process. Is everyone with us? Uh, no, a uh, couple of you. Wait, I think except for uh, Dave, everyone's here, right? I, I imagine that I'm still on the cargo bay, just punching shit, just trying to get out of Grushy. Uh, I'm gonna send a message to Camilla, saying things look things look a little weird here. Oh, I need to keep an eye on the ship while you're doing whatever you you need to do. Uh, if if you sense anything, just just send us a message. If somebody tries to, you know, whatever, take them out. I send an okay hand. Okay. <laughs> DM. Nice emojis. Uh, the person the shopkeeper was talking to, the customers before me. Mm-hmm. Did I overhear them talking anything? Mm, before, you saw that the they just like looked away as soon as you came in, or hit their face. They're still standing there. Didn't hear much about it. It seems like they were negotiating some sort of, uh, some sort of supply for something coming in to the uh, the. What's it called? I'm sorry, leaving the dock without check. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Um, John John would like to send a message. Sorry. Go okay, ahead. Okay, go on, go on. Go on, go on. Uh, John John would like to send a message to everyone in the group since we're on group chat apparently. <laughs> um, want to go half seas on the uh, fuel cells for like like as a group buy? Don't we have stuff we stole? No, we need more. We, we would have right? like we were almost oh. running out of those fields. We have yeah, run out of right, three. We have three. No, more. I mean, I thought we stole a bunch of other stuff. Hmm. To sell up, I guess. Is yeah, we were supposed up? to do that, but we didn't do it. Right, we were supposed to go through the cargo and see what we could sell. Yeah, we can so still we could, do like, that. Harder. We could still do that. Either ways, the message that John John is sending is essentially: if you want to buy fuel cells, want to go half seas, like. Want to all put put in money? That's what he sends essentially. I think um, also. Hmm. Good. Uh, yeah, I just have a question. Is there a way to, uh, you know, in the docks? Is there a way for somebody there to help us change the drive signature oh. of the ship? Uh, from what you recall, it's a very expensive and it's a very um. A risky process, which can blow up the ship, and ah, okay. that is a pretty high hack check. Yeah, let's not risk that. It's a multi-step process, and there's like a pretty high DC on that. Uh, John, yeah, John. Uh, so the cost for the the fuel cells is seven hundred if we get ten, right? There are six of us. What if yeah, we just put it. in a hundred and twenty-ish each, like a ship budget? Uh, we could do that, right? And then whatever money we make from selling okay. the cargo, we can split that six ways as well. I kind of, I kind of grab 
uh, Shane and like, I mean, not grab, but like kind of gently pull him towards me, like closer so that no one else overhears the conversation because we don't want to haggle in front of mm. the shopkeep. It's essentially mm-hmm. like, I'm okay with that, dude. We can do that. I'm cool. Okay. All right. So here's what I'm thinking, right? The stuff that we, we, how about we each put in a certain amount of money into what we call the ship pool which we use to make purchases and everything for the ship, right? And then whenever we sell something or we do a, do something else, we put that money back at the ship pool and slowly we can get our money back and then the ship ship pool will stay what it is. John John nods in agreement. Sure. What do the rest of us think? Um, Nana? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, Kalpana would, would Kalpana know what the going rate for fuel cells are normally outside of the house anyway. mm. I'm sorry, what are you asking? The going rate for fuel cells on a general basis, not specific to euros, euros rather. Uh, you know that it ranges like anything from between uh, oh, one sec, anything from between uh, hold on, where the fuck is it? Yeah, 52 or 200. Hmm. Okay. Kalpana would just like to know if, if she thinks that she's being mucked uh, off or taken advantage of. It seems of. to be the okay price for the place that you're, you know, like in right now. Um, okay. I would like to go up to the shop and be like, um, so, do you know where we could potentially get like um, some sort of um, supply run mission or, or like a, a, a um, is that like an is that like a board where people have tasks that they need to accomplish that that people can help out with like you know get supplies or get uh, stuff like that. You need commissions, basically. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. I forgot the word for it. Yeah. Well. Uh... I think you mentioned that. And she sort of like nudges the guy who had hidden his face next to her. We seem to have uh, some very interesting uh, job for people like you. It would have to be a no questions asked. And it would have to be never spoken of again kind of thing. How much are you willing to pay? That depends. On? How many of you are there? Six of us. Um, Eight of us, actually, sorry. Eight of you. Where are you coming from? And why are you here on six? We're, we're just we're just here to collect some supplies and sell some supplies. And, you know, we're we're a cargo hauler, so so we just that's what we do. Okay. Sell stuff here, okay. buy from there, sell back here, okay. the usual stuff. Pick up commissions along the way. You know what? Uh, drop me a contact. And she sort of like taps her phone, uh, not data pad on yours. Okay, but this yeah. is only for commissions, okay? If you want to call me for other things, that'll be does that'll be separate. Yeah, Can we get sure. a description of the Is Shane trying to, is Shane trying to like, Hit on the old lady, or like what's happening there? Yes, she's because the then we can lady. get discounts. She's not old. She is. Uh, she's just like what's it called? Um, That's the other person. Not young. Ah, so can we get a description okay. on the people who were trying to hide their faces? Mm-hmm. Now that we can see, can we get a description on the people? Okay. Uh, the other guy is still trying to hide his face, but what you see is like pretty. Thick eyebrows and a very large, uh, white fading uh, mustache. Can we? Can I? Can I rather figure out if he's Belter, Marston, or Earthling? So with his height, you can tell that he's probably Belter. Belter. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh. 
Kalpana would uh, in belt uh, in hold on. Mm-hmm. Belt is real. Yeah, would uh, okay. pay rat uh, on the open so that both of them could hear it. Mm-hmm. What is the nearest OPA junction? Hmm. I'm glad we have one of you on this. Um, just walk through there. And she motions to uh, the pathway behind her. And she's sort of like a oh. crowd gathered up there. Kalpana says, thank you for the information. And uh, she looks over at Shane and John John and Farah and says, uh, I'll meet you guys here back in somewhere. You guys get the fuel says, get the boarding of the ship done. I'll talk to you later. And Kalpana would move uh... to the place that Kalpana, wait. Dude, dude, hold on. Kalpana's left already. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, okay. Can I, can I follow her? Yep. I can, yeah, so I can follow her personally as well. I also have a surveillance drone which, like, helps me. It'll be very that. obvious that you're trying to use surveillance drone in a pretty crowded okay. marketplace. Yeah. Also, it's going to get stolen in a minute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll, just... I'll draw this just just for now. So, like, this is the direction that you're going towards. Okay. And the people are like crowded up here. Can I hear what's the commotion in the crowd going on? Um, sure. Uh, before that, let me just like finish up the market okay. kind of thing. So, Done. are you? Buying something else? Uh, so here's here's what we're thinking for now, right? Do you have do you buy stuff as well, or do you only sell? Like, if we have some supplies, like you know, food or cargo or other things, oh, yeah, we sell. We, we, oh, uh, food, hundred percent. We buy food, spices, uh, ice, maybe. Yep. Oh, yeah. 100%. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our ship, see what what all we have to sell. We will bring that in. And maybe we could do a, some sort of a trade where we, where we give you the equipment, you give us the fuel cells, no money has to change hands. If it's if it okay. b- balances out enough, yeah? Maybe? Makes sense. Okay. All right, perfect. And do you have any other commissions okay, for part, us? Um, this part, I'll, I'll probably do off screen. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But do you have any other commissions for us? Or do you know where we could get some commissions to haul stuff, get get more supplies or anything else? Listen, I don't know about you, so I'm going to ask you directly. I know that your friend is one of us, are you? Do you sympathize with the people of the belt? Yes, of course. I'm a doctor, so I sympathize with... with... This is very important. Okay. This this hauling mission is going to be very important for the future of our belt. Okay. Just go through we, there, you'll, you'll understand. Go through where? To where the people are? Just follow your friend. And come back here, if you have made up your mind, if you want to take up the permission. It's going to be okay. pretty decent money, but it's obviously, it can be risky. But okay. it is going to be for the betterment of the, the belt. Fair, so fair enough. So licks her lips. And then just goes back to talking to that guy who she was. Hey, John John. You owe I want to follow Shane. A couple of words uh, about some Martian something. That's it. Oh? Yo, uh, John John. Wait, so DM, DM, hold on. One sec, one sec, one sec. DM, the buying, selling thing you're doing off, off, off screen, yeah. right? Yep. Okay. Okay, then I'll, okay, I understood. Okay. Yo, Wait, John, John. Uh, also, Dave is back. Dave said something. Hold on. Before. Yeah, yeah I just said I'm following uh, Shane. I, I haven't came back left yet, but yes. I've just been... You yeah, the ship here, you. How will we know, bro? Where am I? How will we know? Uh, I literally chat. said I am back. No, None of us heard it. He None of us heard it, dude. Okay, bro. The first time I heard you speak was when you said... I follow Shane. So anyway, so, anyway, anyway. Oh, cut to okay, you, you, 
yeah you were sleeping on the ship and you you're not getting you are not getting off the ship this is to dave okay yep okay uh do I, do we have a map because i just see darkness on the map uh, we, don't have we do have a map currently yeah i just refresh, see refresh. darkness and a uh, red uh, balloon drawing thingy just refresh yeah. Yeah, refresh okay Okay, so Shane, you were saying something to me. Yeah, John, John. Uh-huh. Okay, listen. Uh huh. We... This looks like a fun thing to do. So here's here's what I've been thinking, right? We have the ship. We've been doing a bunch of shit on here, but we don't really have a plan, right? It's just been mm-hmm. coasting. So I was thinking, since we have a fucking ship, why not use it to do some good? right we can sell the cargo we have right now we can get rid of that we can get the fuel cells we need and we can pick up more commissions along the way to do other things maybe somebody needs food maybe somebody needs needs some water in some outpost maybe some whatever else right and if we do those things it could be some fun thing to do while instead of just floating aimlessly on a ship no not not having any sense of direction what do you think sure that but are you yeah? sure that the, whatever the lady said is like Safe because she sounded sketchy. Yeah, I agree. So I know I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe we go check out where Fal and Kalpana went, figure out what what okay. is going on, and then based on how we feel, we make we we you know vote for it, and and we decide if we want to to do this thing or not. Sounds like a plan, and I walk. <laughs> All right, fair, fair enough. And I'm just gonna send a message to Camilla really quick. Uh, we're on a we're on a mission, quote unquote. Um, see you. I'll see you soon. uh good vibes only that's that's <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's that's it yeah good vibes <laughs> good vibes only <laughs> okay okay uh, as am, you i refreshed okay. uh, still nothing on the map uh, it's okay it's fine i guess it's just a browser thing anyway there's nothing to see don't worry about it if there was a combat i'll let you know uh all for uh, sexy stream what uh, yeah that's a, actually that's a good idea mm mm-hmm. Oh. As you go further into Eros and uh, you go into the little alleys that you were asked to, you see that the ambience of the whole thing is a bit different than you know, like you gathered initially. There's a lot of there's an air of mystery and intrigue to the whole thing. A lot of criminal activities are going on, and you can like visually see them and. that somehow sometimes scares you because you have not seen such stuff happen in open uh weapons purchases uh, some sort of like uh beating up a person etc there's like a lot of street art happening which is obviously not criminal but like it's also something that you didn't yeah, expect yeah. coming from series because it is just so over policed uh there's a lot of symbols depicting resistance and pride of the belt there's a lot of graffiti with different tags of different factions it's like visual representation of belters determination to preserve their identity over the influence of inner planets as you make through the streets you encounter a crew of belters surrounding surrounding what seems to be one person each of them seems to have a different scar on their face uh, almost as if they are telling a different story of weariness and resilience but also that of their life being full of danger they all have seen storms and weather change even though they have not seen atmosphere in a single day of their life and despite the undercurrents of crime and resistance you sense a sense of camaraderie amongst all of them sense of community they sort of like offer nods of acknowledgement and look towards the central figure who is stepped up on what seems to be a little crate and just addressing them friend we find ourselves at a pivotal moment in history where unity is essential for the preservation of our way of life there for all factions of the belt we have been divided for so long we have been under the boot of inners 
We need to rise up together if we must and fight them. There is no battle for our survival if you are not together. Our shared struggle for auto autonomy, self-determination, it binds us together. And he is also complementing all of this with uh, a lot of hand gestures, which you recognize to be a very essential part of belter communication. It is a lot more with hands than it is with mouth. Similar words, similar sounding words, or even same sounding words can uh, mean very different uh, with different hand actions. And also, yes, shame Sorry. and other people uh, who don't be, uh, speak Belter Creole, you only get certain sections of it because uh, of the language just being so expressive, but it is, you know, being used in, uh, sorry, it is being uttered in Belter Creole. Give me one second. Okay. okay. I'm sorry, I'm back. Our alliance, our allegiance, I'm sorry, to our home, the belt, is what unites us. There is a lot of work to be done, but with all of your help and support, I am very sure that we can do it. The first step towards that is understanding that phobic alliances is also an essential part of war. They take away our water, they take away our air, but they cannot take away our freedoms. Yeah. Whoever wants to support us, whoever wants to be with us, whoever wants to play their lives for the Belter, Belter cause, please sign up on that sheet there. And then he steps back and you see a lot of people cheering on, but you also see one of one person. So like tutting and like, uh, nodding her head in disapproval. And she steps up on the same uh, pedestal with a lot of people starting to groan as if like they have seen this before. Our path is one of understanding and reconciliation. We have seen the devastating consequences of war and conflict, and we refuse to follow the same path. There's no way that war will lead to peace. There is literally no way. Our strength lies not in the weapons we wield, but in the unity we forge, and I agree with him on that. But it is essential to understand the alliances we form right now will actually affect how the belt proceeds with the future. We believe that knowledge is power, and there are other ways to fight this war. We don't have the people, we don't have the resources, and we don't need to lay down our lives to fight this war. Amongst the inners, amongst their own whatever agenda it is, our war is that of survival and not of dominance. And she's in like booed off stage. And she keeps on saying something. Without causing any harm or disruptions, our mission is to expose the truth and promote transparency. Just like keeps on going down and down. Right? What are you guys doing? Is this like an election? Who it's are you a, asking? The DM. The DM. <laughs> It doesn't seem like it. Just turning to a, turning to a random belter in the crowd being like, bro, is this an election? <laughs> <laughs> like a tourist just coming here. That would have been funny. Okay, as the crowd disappeared, dispersed, uh, those who listen carefully, carried up a very dis carefully disguised message, which you didn't actually hear out loud, but you sort of understand that like the whole, the message was in the sub uh, subtext. And not in yep. what these two people were saying. Yep, yep. Right. They nodded along, and some of them walked up to the woman who was speaking later. Some of them walked towards the the, the pad, which was to register people. And the, the guy sort of like approaches you all. Uh, uh, who would you all be then? 
more still here and she mo- he motions towards the, the 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 shop that you're coming from tell me that like you all want to register uh, register, register for what dude the fight the battle oh against the inners you're a part of them uh... are you a part of them no dude i'm a lover not a fighter peace out you belong with her then with whom see that woman there uh huh she is all about love and not against you know like not about violence she thinks that we can peacefully somehow negotiate our ass into the table onto the conference tables amongst the inners and negotiate a fair deal for resources but you know everyone knows that's not going to happen okay just, sounds just like a plan dude go ahead go ahead okay kalpana just slowly uh, moves a piece of clothing and show reveals the patch that she is wearing and says ah Wishful thinking, as always, and gives you a nod. About this come mission, yes, we he have heard... sort of like motions you to come with him. Yeah, Kalpana follows to a him. more uh, discreet place. And Kalpana yeah. follows along. Oh, yeah. okay. What's that? What's the question? What was the question? Oh, oh yeah. I think yeah. All right. Uh, about this mission, we keep hearing about all of this, a lot, a lot of stuff. As soon as we enter here, what's going on? I'm sorry, your voice was a bit too low for me. Voice is too low, Achha. bro. Acha, hold on. Let me pull my mic closer. Hello, better? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as soon as we have pulled onto the station. We've heard a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff that I didn't know earlier as well. Being, you know what? Can you uh, brief me about stuff? Shakes his head. You know, need to know, and all that. Too many mouths spill the secrets. You just, as as you probably already heard, this is a no questions asked kind of thing. We. we have forged certain alliances with people and i i start to take out a bottle and you realize that it has some sort of an alcoholic drink sips and hands one to, hands it over to you we have forged an alliance with certain people who might not have our best interest in their heart but you know enemy of our enemy kind of thing hmm. we think we can do some real good but that might you know breaking some eggs making an omelet kind of thing well peace has gotten us this far so might as well peace has been a boot on our necks kalpana <laughs> just uh, well they talking come this point so to the woman who was talking as well what's her story she's a fighter actually she just thinks that our means and stuff might not be the best interest well i she used to work with me actually she just recently defected no hard feelings it's just not saying i to i with each other she thinks that forging alliances with the enemy of earth might not go in our favor i disagree i think sometimes you need a hammer to do its job it doesn't matter if your fingers get lost in the way as well as long as the hammer drops on the correct nail that is exactly Sometimes you'll hang your thing, hammer your finger, but that's just a reasonable transaction, isn't it? It's not as if you're surviving here, you're barely there. You see these? He points towards the the meat shops, living on lizards and rats. Is this life? 
you tell me. That's all I've ever known. We could have terraformed. We could have gotten some sort of agriculture here, but the inner is just refuse it. Even Mars gets refused the same privilege, doesn't it? They could have terraformed their planet a hundred years ago. But no, Earth declared war on them, and now they have to invest on military. And they can't have the garden that they dreamed of. Uh, Mars and us are not that different, you know. We have certain shared interests. If you catch my drift. Uh, Kalpana looks here and there, and uh, as the crowds dispersed. Yeah, you're in a pretty secluded area. Yeah, okay. Kalpana just says, uh, a lot of things are gonna happen, it would seem. A lot of cogs are turning. Uh, as she moves on to leave, she goes for a handshake. Mm-hmm. Okay. Does he shake a shake yeah. hand? He does like sort of like a shake a handshake which you recognize to be a pretty belter thing and yeah. Yeah, then he would find a piece of paper going from my hand to his hand. Wow, okay. Would you like to DM me what <gasps> it says? I will send you. You just send me your number? <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not shame, okay. Uh <laughs> Unnecessary. Uh, after... <laughs> after, seeing, after seeing that, Kalpana would move over back to see where the crowd has gone now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see, the crowd okay, has uh... like formed towards the woman. So yeah, so good. No, no. I wanted to say like in the meanwhile, like while this is happening, I wanted to do something. So okay. Yeah, but you can good. finish the narrative. Good. Good. Uh, so you said that like uh, the messages were encoded in ways which most people wouldn't understand, like outsiders wouldn't understand mm-hmm. because they used a lot of Pelter uh, language, right? Like somatic kind of. Uh, not just uh, that. Hands, it was more like the subtext of the whole thing. Like when you know when you're not saying something that you want to do, but you just like allude towards it. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. It's so not just the language so of it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So in that case, uh, fall would be more, uh, you know, drawn towards the woman who spoke later and not the man okay. who spoke at first. Uh, mm-hmm. And so they would like to talk to her uh, while Kalpana is talking to the man. You know. Okay. Hold on. What uh, you wake up the name okay. of the man before you go on? Uh, he didn't tell you his name. Achha, okay. Okay. Uh, can you guys give me one sec? Just I'll be up. Okay. Bum bum bum. I'll be right back. <laughs> break. Da da. Mini break. Mama mama. Al's doing the twist. Twist, twist. What's the twist? Yes. What is the twist? That is the question. It's in the map. It's the map. Look at my token. He's spinning. Yeah. Al is spinning. Yeah, it looks like Fal is upside down at this point. <laughs> Yo, every time I try to zoom in, like the zoom doesn't work and my character just spins. So yeah, I you have to, if you're holding, you have to you have to shoot. unselect your character first. Yeah. How do you? So like, just click just anywhere select else. Select something else. Dra- uh, uh, left click and drag somewhere else, and then try okay. to. Okay. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay, thanks. Are you I'm holding shift, something. by the way? No, no, I'm not. So now I'm just then... spinning my character to... Uh, and then that, that, that is selected, then it zooms, uh, it spins it automatically. 
Yeah, on ah, top, if okay. you can see, there's like that scale thing as well, right? If you are yeah. like you're not able to select it, just select the other tokens or what? I mean, other uh, icons or whatever, and then go back to the regular thing. It should like go back to default settings or so. Right, right. Yeah, I'm back. I'm sorry. No problem. Okay. So, good, good. Uh, Camilla and so would... uh, mm-hmm. go ahead. Good. No good. Okay. Would uh, Camilla be joining us, or uh, like would, would Dave have caught up as well? That would depend, like... I guess. Like, do you guys like you were at the ship, right? Like, are you yeah. trying to? I okay, I Camilla messaged Camilla to tell us to stay at, then on the now ship. Then why you would be here? Yeah. Oh yeah, no! I but... already told you what. Hold I'm on. Saying. Are the thing is, let them say if they're coming or not. Mm-hmm. Are you? No, I'm just asking Camilla? about if? our folks. Uh, let them what. let them say na. Let them. Say. Let them. Uh-huh, that's what. Uh-huh. I think I'm Camilla, gonna stay at the ships for security sake. Okay. They're gonna stay at the ship. Uh, mm-hmm. No, I um, would like to leave the ship and I would like to look around the station and to see mm-hmm. if I can find something interesting. She'll be probably here. I shall let you know oh. what you see. Um, okay. Meanwhile, I think Pal is talking to the woman or like are you just like listening into the conversation that she's having? Yeah. I'm trying to no. get to know more about... Uh, okay. So I'm, I'm firstly trying to gauge the situation, try to get to know more about Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what, what's going on here, and uh, yeah, depending on uh, how similar her approach is to mine and her ideals are to mine, I would, mm-hmm. you know, uh, tend to pay closer attention or try to talk to her one on one things like that. So you're n- unsure of her intentions and like where the whole thing is going or where it's coming from. Uh, but you immediately notice a couple of keywords which like immediately sort of like raise your ears, so to speak. Uh, one of them being uh, stealing the data. And uh, give me one sec, where it was... Yeah. Um... Minuto. Okay, yeah, she's talking about uh, seeking to bridge the gap of mistrust and misunderstanding that has plagued the solar system for generations, uh, having aligned long-term goals for the whole system through mutual cooperation and respect, and about how each faction could essentially thrive without resorting to violence if they actually just discuss things and negotiate it instead of going to war directly. She said, I believe that knowledge is power. The data we seek to acquire contains valuable information. And she looks around and like starts to go very low. Uh, the couple of words that you get as valuable information on the inner planet's operations and intentions. By obtaining this data, we can shed some light on the conspiracy and bring it to the forefront for the public consciousness. Perhaps we can still stop it. And that's like it goes out of your earshot after that. Uh, then, as you try to, you know, like go again to try to get more information, you hear uh, information dissemination, diplomatic maneuvering. We can do everything, but the problem is getting access to the data first. We need to find out what they're planning and what they're doing. And I know where to get it. If only we had people who could do this. That's about it. Where you are at right now. Okay, so I would, uh, I would then like you know, say in Belta Creole that I may be able to help here. Uh, I feel like some of our interests are unli- aligned in this matter, and the way that we fight for our cause. Uh, I show the OPA badge, but like, you know, I don't like wear it. Uh, I've Mm -hmm. just like kept it away kind of thing. Like the way that we choose to fight, the way that we choose to defend ourselves and our people and our land, uh, the way that we try to protect and the way that we try to fight the oppressors, it's not as flashy 
as how they do it it's not like you know it's not exactly with weapons it's saying. not with blood she cuts you off she says exactly what i'm saying and like says some belt of words which like are in a dialect that even you don't understand and then brings you into sort of like a group huddle of sorts and uh, she seems to be like a almost like a half foot taller than you as well has like side fade and like very curly short cut hair and starts talking about so we need to obtain this data discreetly without causing any harm or disruption or also without letting people know so they don't just like spin a, a narrative around the data or being forged or something like that our mission is to expose the truth that's it that's it not resolved to violence not so chaos nothing this is to prevent violence and prevent people from dying even directly not just indirectly you know what i'm saying yeah are you up for I it complete i am uh what is the like where is this data being secured okay and uh, all right the heist is set then uh what are the other people doing meanwhile i think uh rigvait is coming out right box is okay. gone you walk in and you see a lot of shops uh dave you see a bunch of people manning some some sort of like vendor shops so one seems related with ship parts and services a couple of seem to be pretty openly dedicated towards sex work and some seem to be a very reserved uh, food dispensing uh, kind of operation you in the distance do see a couple of your friends going towards uh, what seems to be a uh, an alleyway so you can follow them if you like i'll take note of the alleyway i would like to uh, walk to one of the uh, shops selling okay. uh, one of the ship parts okay. um i walk up to there i i look at the person sitting there i speak to them in uh, belters uh, language whatever that is called let me check my character sheet creole uh creole yeah um uh, whatever time it is uh, oh hello uh, can you show me what all you're selling over here uh, so a lot of vendors around here she a woman with sort of like a curly bunch of hair pretty matted uh missing a lot of tooth on her front uh, on her upper jaw uh walks up to you almost sort of growls we don't serve your type here get lost <laughs> yeah <laughs> pigs yes oh. i'm back oh. what did i miss <laughs> what, oh the my god. <laughs> what the fuck what the fuck oh my he's god rick bite he's joking he's joking hey i somebody walked into my room i can't do anything about it really he's not joking <laughs> no i am literally not joking the uh, she just like, is upset at you uh sorry mm-hmm. she just growls at you and asks you to get the fuck out uh because you're a un diplomat and she doesn't serve your kind here oh well uh, well i still had um, you know where to browse if you can show me what you have she has always been just down. here and care Hmm. She does not. I'm. Like I'm gonna. Airplane. I'm gonna sit uh, in front of her. Shop. <laughs> Cross leg. Exactly. Okay. Karen behavior. He's gonna. He's gonna get fucking clocked in the face. Yeah, he's gonna get clocked. Yeah. Not Karen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he is. Uh, mm-hmm. Also, uh, I sent you a message as well. Yeah, I Hello. saw that one. No. Okay. okay. Um. got it ticka okay makes sense so uh, what are you all are doing like you talk to the guy are you going towards something else do you, like what are you doing yeah are we going towards uh, more inside rather to to the heroes to find like the base of what whatever what the op like if i can find the base of op there's no like a Like not not a base. I, I mean, mm-hmm. a place for where like an information tell, like that. Congregate. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Like bar or something. You yeah. reach But what I seems to be an old repurposed mm-hmm. conference hall while walking like a couple of different you know like places, and this conference hall seems to have been converted into a makeshift pub. 
then you realize that this whole place was constructed to be a science center. And now it's just people living here and they have just repurposed almost everything. And there you encounter a guy pretty old, just giving like a senile old speech about an old fa fairy tale, about some sort of like a fabled ship. And uh, he puts on sort of like a, what's it called? Um, a pirate accent and the, I gather around my friends. This includes the tale that will send shivers down the spine. It's very hard to decipher because he's also drunk and he's also trying to put on an accent over it. Uh, from what you can gather, it's a tale about some nebula crosshair named ship. I would like to sit near him and listen to the conversation. Okay. I think that'll be the end of this after this. I'll, I think I'll just end it. Okay. Okay. No, no, I'll just finish the story. Don't worry about it. But like after <laughs> that, I'll end. Also, oh, my dear. More... I am claiming to have this seen this factor myself, but the stories travel faster than any ship could. The crosshair, they say, is a space ferret like no other. A phantom of the void, cured by the powerful and hailed by the oppressed. <laughs> This was claimed that the enigmatic crosshair once was once one of the Martians, a naval officer gone rogue, or perhaps a belter whose people suffered on the heel of an planet. Either way, they found solace in the shadows, seeking vengeance for the crimes perpetrated against the belt. With a ship so black, it could outmatch the darkness of Ceres freighters. The Nebula crosshair strikes without warning. And when the inner planet ship catch it, it vanishes like a ghost in the sky, leaving them confused and cursing for their fate. Oh, wasn't that in all, my friends? The Corsair, daring heights on corporate vessels are the stuff of nightmares that snoop down the targets like Baltzalada snuffs some prey. The skills are unmatched. Stories say that they are wearing masks like a shroud of the nebula itself. Swirls of darkness hiding their identity from flying eyes. Some of the force of nature. I'm in a frustration of them. And he's just like, sort of like drifts off the street <laughs> because he's just too drunk. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That'll be the end of the session. <laughs>